Hi right, guys, today we're going to be checking out Riders Rush, which has 29 achievements. I don't know if we'll get them all. It's 5.39 on Steam right now. It looks pretty unique, so that's why I wanted to check it out. Uh, I was actually sure I was going to play a game tonight, but this one actually looks pretty interesting. So as always, oh, that is not my language. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow, and I always appreciate it. Alright, let's find English. This must be credits. Those are the credits. Okay. I'm learning. I'm finding my way. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Boom, shakalaka. Oh man, I speak whatever language is, kind of, not really. Alright, my name. The Fluffy Panda. But yeah, we're supposed to be an author and we're competing with other authors, and so that's kind of neat. Uh, give out all my personal information while I'm doing this. 32. No extra changes. Build your character as you play pedantic. Research, editing, writing, slow as hell. <laughs> Student. Research, luck, speed. Creator, sci-fi, speed, research. I am a content creator. Kind of. I guess. Ah, oh, hell, I gotta put a picture? Oh, hell. Which one of y'all looks 32? Jack Black. Huh. Huh. I think he looks the most like me. Way better looking, but the most like me. <laughs> God dang. Uh, let's see. Andre Volkovsky. Uh, female Michael Jackson. <laughs> Scarlett Mayer and Pablo Julio. The Fluffy Panda. Two players with the most prestige points progress to level 5. Level 6. Level goal 6 to score the most prestige points. Welcome to Riders Rush. To pass level 6, you must score more prestige points than other players. Prestige points are mainly awarded for writing books. The better the book, the more prestige points you get. Let's take a look at the game's navigation. Yes, please. Prestige, money, audience, write a book, current date, pause, continue, weeks until stage, some buttons, the number of errors, some buttons, thank you. The card showing all the changes, current player levels, ratings, game log and statistics, mailbox, and goal log. Let me turn this down a little bit. This is going hard. It's nice though. Okay, so this is going to be to let you know a struggle at the start but I might get all the achievements if I like it enough we don't you never know you start playing in 1996 at level 6 after four years players who have scored more prestige points progress to level 5 to write the first book click the plus sign okay bah, bah, bah. Oh, the most prestige points who came up with those rules <laughs> okay I'm in last already uh, Let's see, I have a bonus in sci-fi, but that's actually my least favorite genre, horror. I love horror. Okay. Dystopia. I love dystopia. Uh, target audience. Let's go female. Oh, that's male. Uh, no, man. I know men better than I know females for sure. But, oh, adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, approximate time, conduct research. Oh, it goes faster if I don't research. This is actually super cool. <laughs> this is super cool, bro. They just started writing. Oh my god. I'm coming. What the failure? You haven't learned anything. You've also learned that you haven't learned anything. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. My research sucked. Okay. Okay, so you can only have a male protagonist so far. Protagonist's name. Uh, Cawthorn. I think that's a cool sounding name. So, plot is gonna be a high. Dialogues don't need to be that much in a horror, I don't think. Setting's important. I think that's right, right there. I wonder if this is actually based on like what, how the stories are supposed to be. Uh, emotional tension, action. 
Uh, no, we're going to take this. No, no, we want more action. There we go. Intimacy, limited setting, limited number of characters. Oh, epic. We want it to be epic. Uh, twisted structure, deep... Su yes, yes. I don't want it to be too deep because this is going to be a one book kind of thing, but I do want it to be deep enough that everybody's like, oh, I want this to be like a cult classic. I don't know if that's good for the game. Oh, hell, we're going down. Up, up, up. <laughs> Go up. Hopelessness. Based on your selection, select a genre and theme as well as your abilities. The following plots are available. Hopelessness, 2083. Is a 35-year-old former prisoner prison guard living in a dystopian future people are enslaved by a control system and deprived of freedom the state releases monsters from time to time to have fun oh that sounds interesting in 2083 the world is ruled by a totalitarian system Cawthorn lives in a big city and works at a factory it can monster starts terrorizing oh okay, no, no 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 can monster no 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 we not doing can monsters The city is overrun by monsters released by the Corporation for Entertainment. Underground Movement discovers an underground movement that kills not only the members of the Corporation, but ordinary citizens too. Night of Fear. A error occurs in the control system, letting all convicts out of the prisons. The city is flooded with criminals and mass murder. Tragic ending. One of the climaxes will lead to tragic consequences. They're all going to lead to a tragic consequence, I'm pretty sure. That's the point. Yes. Underground movement. Oh, baby. Climax me. We're still in last. I'm coming for you, Pablo Julio. Be careful, the ending will directly affect the reader's perception of the story. Cawthorn tries to save his son, who remained in the school building. He is killed by... Oh, wait, is that my only choice? That's my only choice! God dang, boy, that's the only choice you're giving me, though. Oh, uh, you. You, you, you. That's, like, not a bad in Well, it kind of is. I mean, I don't have a choice. I wonder why I don't have a choice. Maybe you gotta unlock it. Whatever. It seems like the people semi-liked it, at least. I'm coming for you. Almost done. You can publish your book right away or edit it first. Oh, there's errors? Oh. Oh, error corrections, they're out of two. Or I can pay money. I'll do it myself. Oh, well. Probably not worth it, honestly, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, he's going down with me. Me and Pablo Julio are perfectionists, and that guy over there is like a mainstream author or something. Fight me. I got these stats from doing it, I guess. Cool. Your book is about to drop. Check out your achievements. Nice. The first critics reviews are out. Oh my god, zero, zero. What the f... Fight me. Fight me, dude. <laughs> Fight me. Oh my god, everybody hates my stuff. Okay. That's alright. I'll, I'll make my comeback. Best seller, J.D. Bolin released Oliver of the Secrets of... The Asylum, which became a real hit. Perhaps we were dealing with ebook that will change the world. Congratulations to J.D. Ballin. He's not even one of us, bro. Screw J.D. Ballin. Uh, uh, Alright, let's go with crime, then. Uh, yes, I love mythology. I'm probably doing too much of what I want to do, which is probably not the best. What did I pick as the thing? Crime and mythology? Yeah, I think 13 to 18 is fine.
total bull- Oh my god, everybody's hating me. Congratulations on public- I will be happy to follow your work. Oh, thanks, man. Can I respond to him? Oh, I actually succeeded for once. That's cool. Crime and Myths is a decent combination. Myths and young adults will have a major effect on sales. In Japanese mythology, there is a legend about the nine-tailed fox, Kitsune, who performs... Yeah, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing Icarus. You didn't read the title, my friend? Okay. Um... World bidding doesn't need to be that much in this because of myths kind of pre-established even though it is a younger audience. What's it Chris's dad's name? Nah, it wasn't, we'll make it Chris. that's just easier. I don't remember Chris's dad's name. I need a pause so I can respond to reviews because I want to do that. respond to people when they write me. Did you stop right? <laughs> eh, <Hey>, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Oh, he's a rival, right? Grapho maniac. Yeah. Screw you, Paul. There's Castiel. I don't know you. Thanks for your review, I guess. How dare you write such a thing about women? Why isn't the... Oh my god, that is actually... I saw a review complaining that the protagonist wasn't a woman. They said they were going to add it, but this is a funny comment. Uh, I'll see you. My pansexual and transconditional friends will find you. Ah, I see why the person was asking for a refund now, because they're just angry people. For <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I, didn't, I don't know what my book said, though, so I don't know. Maybe. Thanks for the review. But yeah, you can... Uh, for 300 years, the tireless and mysterious Wally Mad Dog Shakespeare has went, been winning the writing competition. Everyone fears him, but no one can challenge him. Your ultimate task is to defeat him and take first place in the tournament. You start at level 6 in 4 years, there will be a rotation, and you will have a chance to mo move to level 4. Good luck. Based on your selected genre and theme, as well as your abilities, the fall Dragon, bro. Uh, adventure Archeo. Man, I'm gonna change my dang name, then. Looking for a way to revive the dragon race. This has nothing to do with my thing, bro. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more control over what the plot was, but I guess I can understand how that's hard to do in the game. I had my expectations too high. For the selected plot, the following scenarios are available. Icarus finds the description of an ancient ritual that has the power to revive dragons. He performs the ritual, Keeper of the Valley must overcome the Keeper of the Valley, an ancient dragon standing in his way beyond the edge, gets in touch with dragons from another world and summons them to this world. Yes. Hey, I'm back in last. She took the lead somehow. Icarus summons the dragons, but the summoning ritual leads to catastrophic consequences. A thousand of dragons attack all living things. A world of dragons summons the dragons, and they become a, a whole new business. Paid dragonflies. That could be kind of interesting, because it is Icarus, by the way, but... Finds himself in the world of dragons. He has to find a way to return to his world. Other dragons consider him a... Dwarf dragon, and refuse to accept him into their community. The disappearance of the valley... Valley of Dragons doesn't exist. Icarus is a patient. That's interesting. <laughs> Psychiatric patient. Years ago, when he was witnessing his parents being killed, a song about dragons was played on the radio. It was then that Icarus lost his mind. Icarus masters the summoning ritual and uses the dragon's power to fight crime. I actually like this one. I like this one. 
That one I do like. New generation of devices. Today, the lit tech. I don't have any money. Company <laughs> for introduce a new generation of typewriters. One a uh, or I a, authors worldwide eagerly anticipate the opportunity to immerse themselves in a new era of creativity with these innovative devices. I'm poor, bro. I sold like two books. Is that prestige? Is that what that is? Oh, I can't select her anyways. Uh, might not even be worth doing, honestly. It's just eight errors on it. I, I think I might just... Oh, hell. Whoops. all bad. It is what it is. I mean, I didn't have that many errors to begin with, so. They'll probably just pump out books at the start and stop trying to write good books, even though I don't know. I thought that was an interesting book, to be honest. Hey, we got numbers. Not for everyone. It will find its audience, though. Crime and Myths will do. Well, how'd this guy give me a better review than this guy? Unbearable to read. What do comment readers think? The book is mediocre at best. It won't astonish you with the depth of thought or wit, but won't leave you with a feeling of a total waste of time either. There are interesting moments here and there, but overall it is a somewhat dull re read suitable for road trips or bedtime reading. Didn't expect a masterpiece, and I wasn't wrong. Oh boy, but you're my best review. So, okay, thanks, Nero Master, I guess. So, I suspect that even Trucks Holmes wouldn't be able to make heads or tail of this messy plot. Well, that was better than the last time, I guess. Oh, I actually sold a good bit there. Look at that. I think. If that sells. Yeah, I made some money on that one. Let's go. Sold a thousand copies. Oh my god, look at us. That feels rewarding as heck. I like that. Let me look at things real quick. I can buy themes. A lot of these I do not want to even touch be honest with you at all. <laughs> Some of those things I am not even looking at. Zero percent chance. I know it tried to tell me at the start what everything does, but I'd rather just try to figure it out by clicking things. So most of my audience is men. Oh, uh, with the freaking feminist spokesperson telling me how much they hate me. <laughs> I can see why, I guess. Uh, we'll try sci-fi. I hate sci-fi, though. Um, Post-apocalyptic. Uh, yeah. Actually, let's make it for everybody. Why not? Everybody. That's why she's calling me a hater or whatever, I guess. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. She wasn't just kind of doing it ran randomly. Somebody did science and case. Oh, we got a science competition between me and Pe Peblo Hater over there. Science. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Post apocalypse and ults will have a major. John Steinbeck, in his novel The Grip's Breath, depicts the life of a. That's sci fi? I thought that was like realism. I thought. I thought the grapes were. Yeah, I don't think that's sci fi, is it? Is it? I don't know.
Actually, I kind of want it to be simple, to be honest. I know it's sci-fi, but I do want it to be simple. Uh, fateful events, psychological complexity. I think intimacy would be good. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's not going to be a long book, I don't think. I don't want it to be like a long book. Uh, originality. Successful book. Skylar Alexa released Beneath the Ashen Sky. Despite the low ratings, the book is selling well. Readers seem to miss the drama genre. Okay, cool. I'm not doing the drama genre, but that's good to know. I'm catching up, baby. Dang. Okay, it let me choose other thing. Burton is ex in a, well, let me read this one first. In 2042, the world experienced a nuclear war that left behind only desolate wastelands and mutants. Bert, a scientist, travels the world in a search of a cure for mutation. Book, in a post-apocalyptic world, Bert is a an experienced hunter and mercenary. One day, he gets an assignment from a mysterious client. He has to find and bring a book from the library located in an abandoned city. Hunter, in a post-apocalyptic world, Bert, a former marine, hunts drones for a living. Interesting. Bert is the only mechanic in a post-apocalyptic world. He travels through a scorched race land, repairing and upgrading robots for survivors. I just don't know what any of these options are going to give me at the moment, so we'll see, I guess. While repairing a robot, Bert discovers secret information hidden inside of it. Oh, they like that. Great climax. He decides to send this information to his allies. One day, a gang of bandits approaches Bert and demands that he repairs their robot. Bert discovers that the robot has the consciousness of its former owner. Yeah. I think this one will lead to an ending that actually fits the book name. Probably, hopefully. Uh, oh man, there's so many things I haven't got. Happy ending. Bert manages to pass the information to his allies, but his actions lead to uncontrollable consequences. The war between the two factions break out with renewed vigor. Bert manages to pass... They successfully prepare for the enemy's attack and win. Okay, I like that. I like winning. Winning's good. Winning's dope. He doesn't like winning. Bert deserves it, I think. Get a bonus for choosing the ending. Successful ending. Nice. Oh, hell, they're popping off. City of Incantations. Oh. I like Final Breach. I think it's so good, even though it's not exactly what the story I wanted it to be. It's kind of hard. I could get this guy, John Simmons. Uh, he doesn't fix more than I do, though, really. God dang it! Where was the editor's mind? Absolute failure. Book without a soul. God darn it. What the? I didn't see that coming. Boring science fiction without innovative ideas. The fictional world feels just too fake. I remember being forced to rethink. I'm picking the wrong sliders, apparently, for what people want. Oh, they hate me. Everybody hates me. I guess we're doing drama next. I thought that after the first few chapters, but no, that was a naive opinion. Ah, sorry, bro. Naive optimism. Your book feels like a deliberate attempt to make readers lose all faith. Yeah, thanks for your review, bro. I guess. Yeah, that sucked. My bad, guys. Uh, drama. Prison. <laughs> you know, I want some romance. I'm gonna make a romance. It's gonna be a highly sexual romance book.
Oh man. Giving the people what they want. Drama. Romance. Oh, hell. I haven't learned anything, apparently. Wonderful. Jack. Or now a jack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's copying me. Andre Volkanovsky. Volkovsky. Based on your selected genre and theme, as well as your abilities, the oh man finds himself behind the bars. Uh, that's just Shawshank Redemption, bro. I'm trying to look for, I was trying to make a romance. As a German physicist, during the war he's transferred to <laughs> Nah, that's not romantic at all. As an astronaut engineer in prison on an asteroid, he is forced to work for Okay, I guess we can make some romance on an asteroid, why not? Sure. <laughs> sure. Jack steals a guard ship using his engineer skills. Uh, Jack, suddenly a spaceship crashes on the asteroid. Jack hurries to the ship. The lightness of being. Jack is getting used to this life. He uses his technical knowledge to make his life easier. For example, he can make a fan or a hammock with his own hands. That's so useful. Okay, let's do the unexpected guess. Maybe that's where he'll find his love. I'm trying to give him. So hard. I'm trying so hard to make this a romance, but I think I'm screwed. I think I need to buy more plots or something before I can. Woman. Yes. Yes. Oh, perfect. Jack finds the sole survivor of the crash. It's a woman. They fall in love with each other. Yes. Yes. Thank you, game. I don't even. I'm gonna read them, but I don't care. The crash ship belongs to aliens. Jack is the first person to make contact with them. They give Jack a laser blaster and he uses it to escape from prison. Debris, a fragment of the ship hits the protagonist. Jack! Jack dies! No! Okay, yeah, women. Fantastic. Oh, I lost? I did lose. I beat that loser, though. The best book was Andrew, of course, Andre Volkovsky. I, I was the worst. Okay, yeah, thanks. I wasn't the worst. You're the worst, Pablo. You crap talker. Who the hell are these losers? I lost rock, paper, scissors. God darn it. I suck. What about my book? <sighs> Two players with the most prestige points progress. God darn it. What about my book I was writing, though? What happened to that? Is it just gone? Is my book gone? God freaking dang it, bro. That tilts the hell out of me. Wait a second. I'm pissed. Huh. Yeah, I'm actually kind of pissed about that one. That book was the one. That was going to be awesome. I feel like... I don't know. I have a lot of haters. But dang, I feel like it would have been good. <sighs> pissed. Sex! How much is sex? Perfect. Sex sells. I can't afford sex. One day. I'm gonna do it again. I don't give a crap. Payback is mine. I'm gonna finish that book. Ha <laughs> 
as you can tell, I've never read a romance type of book in my life, so. <laughs> oh, man. At least I passed research this time. I don't care about Alcatraz. What was it? Jack? Jack's gonna get his happy ending. Or now a Jack. Shawshank again. Is a German? No, I'm not going to the concentration camp. God darn. Oh, nice. This could work. An engineer gets... I should have read it out loud, but I was thinking about how well this could work. Or not work. Depends on what they give me this next option. Okay, for the secret selected plot, the following scenarios are available. Jack discovers the state of the art. Implants are tested on prisoners, which makes them lose their organs. That's not good. The prisoners demand that the engineer help them escape, threatening his family. The press freedom. A group of hackers ask Jack to release the head of their group in exchange for money. This one. I don't know if it's going to end up with romance, but maybe. You never know. Exposes the cruel experiments, causing a public scandal and helping prisoners find justice. There's no romance here. God darn it, dude. Jack and the prisoners unite against corrupt guards, restoring justice in a legal way. Isolates the prison from the outside world in order to head... Man, if I bought this book, I'd be pissed by the name, to be honest. In order to head the facility and become the leader of the prisoners. Mimicry, unwilling to return to his angry wife, Jack decides to live in a prison cell. The prison security system is getting out of control, killing both prisoners and... Uh... Let's do this one. This book's probably not going to do too well, but I did the best I could. Better do real good, Eleanor. Oh, she doesn't share XP, though. I'll edit my own stuff. My editing did not approve. Felt like reading a draft. Clear attempts at creating a dramatic atmosphere. Good idea, poor execution. Uh, that's probably the best I've had, actually. You write like my sister. Is that a compliment? Not a bad drama, but I would like more emotions and tension. Not really my cup of tea, but the author tried. Well, at least they liked it. Oh, people like this. I think. Dear the Fluffy Panda... God darn it. Your book was... Huh. <laughs> Hot Nights and Hopeless Place was disappointing. Unclear plot, flat characters, and unsuccessful attempts at humor. I hope you'll eventually find your audience. Oh, thanks for the review. Uh... You know how to make the reader feel like- Thank you, Evan! I can't tell Evan to go. <laughs> Honestly, this is some trivial garbage. Maybe you should learn how to write before- No, I'm learning by writing, you fool. Get over it. Okay. I did get a lot of money off that one, though. That went well. Oh, look at that. It's expensive as hell. But I could get the letter, letter... No, I can't. I can get Blitz 55. What do these do? I don't know what this means. Horses on... Basic grammar. That could be helpful. Detective training, 
Uh, <clears throat> bell, speed, hor error probability, psychological training. That could be useful. Probability of making a priority mistake. Audience growth. Playing this course gives you a 50% chance to boost your luck. Well, how's that work? I think I'm gonna take this one. Because it works for all stories and I don't know what kind of story I want to write. So, perfect. This is actually really cool. I, I am enjoying this. It's just a management game. It's not as deep as I thought it was, but it's still cool. Um, let's go back to horror. Let's go with myths. I think a myth horror could be super sick. Everybody, this is for everybody. Uh, not young adults. That'd be very disingenuous. We won't murder in this bad boy. I mean, all of the Olympus is like the dark side, but not everybody knows that. So maybe it'll catch their attention, you know what I mean? Then Crown released Codex Veritas. Which became a real hit. That sounds like a good book, honestly. Perhaps we were dealing with an ebook that will change the world. Congratulations, D Crown. Yeah, good for you, man. I'm number one, baby. Oh, I failed. Oh, that's a shocker. Based on your selected genre and theme, as well as your abilities, the following plots are available. Polythes polytheists. Oh, uh, so I can't even pronounce what I wrote. Polythesius. Polythesius. A young archaeologist finds Tutankhamun's tomb, who, which, according to le a legend, is cursed. Oh, okay, nice. Ooh. I was trying to make a Greek mythology horror thing, but I guess that's not an option. Open the Pharaoh's tomb and releases a spirit. Opens the tomb and finds the Pharaoh inside. He is mummified, but he can still talk. Scarabs. Myriads of scarabs break out of the tomb and kill half of the expedition. Polytheseus survives. That's like uh, the mummy. That's pretty scary. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good mix right there. Crime and cyberpunk. Chaotic ending. Fails to destroy the curse and it spreads all over the world. Age of Beatles. Scarabs cause a plague. Half of the world's population is wiped out. Polytheseus is trying to survive in a post apocalyptic world. The apocalypse is over. Polytheus is. Uh, no, I don't like that one. Giant crab. Suddenly a giant scorpion appears. He is a look, looking for a visual effects specialist. Age of Beatles. Let's just do this one. I think that's cool. It's horror. I don't know if people will like it, but it sounds cool to me. I gotta change the title though. Obviously not Olympus. Man, even with the error correction thing, I still got a butt ton of errors, but errors, my guy. I 
still suck at editing, apparently. Zero out of zero! God dang, everybody hates my horror books! Okay, well... <laughs> my husband read it and left the family! <laughs> Where's the guillotine? Some kind of kindergarten, not a book. Yeah, that's fair. I probably should have made it for a younger generation, but I didn't know I was going to go all Egypt. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's read the haters. How do you manage to write something even worse each time? That is a gift. Thanks, man. Honestly, successful, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Alina. Probably the worst thing I've ever read. Do you understand what you're doing to people? Yeah, thanks, I guess. Uh, okay, we're gonna stay away from horror. Apparently, I don't know. I mean, I don't have that much control over what's happening in the horror, I don't feel like, because all this dumb crap always comes up. Uh, I need to buy more. Alright, screw this. I'm going for something that I'm pretty sure will be a hit. I hate you, Andrei Volkovsky, or whatever your name is. Volkovsky. Imperial Secret, the new book of the popular franchise, a film based on the franchise universe. Of yeah, okay. You got a point eight. You suck. By the way, I might suck, but you suck too. Baki Neko, they were really hung up on this Japanese mythology, right? Is Greek mythology not a thing in this universe? Name is Odysseus. <laughs> God dang. this book for the children. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a successful book. Okay. Based on your selected genre and theme, as well as your abilities, the following plots are available. Odysseus, a hermit traveling around the country, finds himself in a small village, tired and hungry, decided to drink water from a well. Ryder, a young pint connects its tail. What? A young pint connects its tail to the tail of the dragon of the dragon, thereby becoming its master. Dragons are rare in his world. Staircase. The young man suffering from bipolar disorder. <laughs> Odysseus learns about a castle with the staircase. Sending the staircase can fix your... That sounds interesting, actually. At first I was like, that's dumb, but that sounds incredibly interesting. I don't care if it doesn't amount to anything. That I just want to see what's going to go myself. That just sounds fantastic. For the selected plot, the following scenarios are available. Odysseus reaches the top of the stairs and finds himself in a room in the center of the room where there is a mir mirror in which he sees his true self, mind, reaches the top of the stairs and finds himself in the world of his mind, reaches the top of the stairs and runs into himself. I like that. Like the past self, that'd be great. I wish I could clarify there, but... Be careful, the ending will directly affect the reader's perception of the story. He defeats his demons and heals. He returns home. It's a kid's book, so yeah, probably. He decides not to fight himself. He hugs and kisses his other self. Together, they return home and start... What the fuck? <laughs> Can't overcome his demons and dies. But and teleports to the polar state? No. Because he's bipolar. <laughs> okay. Returns to the real world. But his mental state is only getting worse. Fall, falls down the stairs and suddenly heals, sitting at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, I think Narcissus is kind of interesting, but I think healing is the right answer. 
I, I think this is the right answer. I'm writing a kid's book, so... It's not the most original ending, but I'm not going for original with the story anyway, so... Jack Dean. Is 2.0 really successful, though? I have a 3.7, my guy. Just can't afford any good editors, man. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong thing anyways, I think. That's why I'm not getting any editing done. That makes sense. I'm clicking the wrong thing. Oh well. I did the best I could. God dang it. Oh, man. Finance this atrocity, me. It was me! Well. I thought that was going to be a success for sure. Bloody well, Pan, perhaps it's time to try a different line of work. Thanks, Remington. Actually succeeded for once. That's nice. Atmosphere is important. I think. I think this is more like that. Malcolm. on crime too, but I think City's better than fantasy crime. Fantasy crime hard. Okay, based on your selected genre and theme, as well as your abilities, the following plots are available. Malcolm, a 32... Malcolm 32 works as a programmer. He lives in a gloomy, depressive city ruled by a brutal, totalitarian regime. People think they are free, but in, that could be interesting. But in reality, they are controlled by the government through special implants. Kill the rat. A vice police officer is looking for descendants in a totalitarian society low blood. Malcolm is a cynical elderly guard living in a violent fantasy world. He spends his day drinking ales and smoking cigars. One day, seven dwarfs get killed in the city. I'm going with universal control. I think that's interesting. I'm just picking the ones I think are interesting. I don't know. Apparently everyone else doesn't agree, but I don't care. <laughs> Fight me. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be resistance. Does no harm. Oh, dang. That'd be interesting. Well, that'd be too. That'd be like more of an ending thing than a climax, I believe, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Thank you, Pablo Julio. Uh, I don't want to lose Pablo Julio. Oh. The government suppresses the resistance by summoning an army through implants. Malcolm dies. Small victory. The resistance manages to reclaim part of the country and free its people from. The system continues to exist. The resistance deactivates implants, setting people free. However, without the implants, people lose the meaning of life. They begin to fight the resistance. We'll say small victory. Uh, actually, Foggy Future actually sounds kind of interesting. Uh, I don't want to do that one. The new sequel, JD Ballin. I wonder how you do sequels in this game. I don't think I get to do sequels. I better get to publish my book, bro. How long does it take me to edit? Because I only have like 10 days before this section ends. So that's eight weeks. Eight weeks. I ain't got time for that. Publish that. Oh, nice. Oh, well, not nice, but okay. 
you could totally skip it. The author did not pay enough attention to the plot. The author can't, couldn't have chosen a better theme and genre. Uh, reading this book is like watching paint dry. Just another Doyle clone, but much worse. I've never read Doyle or even know what it is. Where's the guillotine? That one dude is really thirsting for a guillotine. Like, thirsting for that guillotine, boy. Yeah, take that, Pablo Julio. I'm back in number one, baby. Yeah! That's what you get for talking crap. We're going to the next section tomorrow. We got the best book, and we got the worst book. <laughs> okay, nobody likes skittering sands. I got it. That's fine. Well, I'm coming, Scarlet. Editor or Realtor? Complete round successfully without an editor. Successfully complete level six. Okay. Oh. No, Rain Man. <laughs> what a name. Oh, he fell back down. Take that, Andrew Andre Volkovsky. You loser. Vengeance will be mine. Yesterday, I received a email from Shakespeare. I didn't read it. It's very scary. It went too fast, even with a pause. I gave the dark underbelly as a gift to my friend. Our friendship is over now. Oh, sorry, man. I guess. Whatever. So, I'm trying not to just game the system and figure out what just works. I'm trying to just like do what I think, honestly, is what I'm trying to do in this play instead of just like trying to figure out what, how to cheese the system. In a quiet suburb, a 27 year old math teacher, Calther, discovers that his neighbor, Mr. Smith, is a notorious serial killer. He must decide whether to become a hero and fight evil or prioritize his own safety. Strength is within. Calther re leads a boring life as a chemistry teacher until he discovers he has a superpower to heal people. School of Magic. Calthor is a boy with a difficult fate. One day, he receives a mysterious invitation to a school of magic. I'm not. Harry Potter? What? Who was my audience again? I don't remember. One of the climaxes will receive my creatures worse than the rest. Okay, well, they don't like it then. That's fine. Exposed truth. Cal Thor gathers evidence against Mr. Smith, but Mr. Smith catches him. Mr. Smith threatens Cal Thor, trying to make him stop digging into his past. Faithful decision. Cal Thor meets an eccentric private detective who is ready to help him fight evil. After dis conducting their own re investigation, they discover that Mr. Smith is the head of a large criminal network. Unlikely allies, Calthor finds out that some of the school's students are superheroes with special abilities. He draws them into the fight against Mr. Smith, and they together they fight evil. I mean, it is superpower and drama, so that's what we're going to do. I wanted him to be the superhero, but I guess it is what it is. Challenges you to a duel. You and Zaria Pitt are making a bet. 
If the rating of your book is higher than the rating of their next book, you will receive 404 prestige. Zariah Pitt writes a book with a higher rating. You will... Okay, accept. Bring it. Zariah Pitt. She's gonna beat the hell out of me. Calthor and his allies expose Mr. Smith and bring him to justice. Calthor becomes a hero defending his neighborhood. Innocence turns out to be innocent. Everyone is extremely surprised. <laughs> Mr. Smith learns about the investigation and attacks Calthor, attempting to kill him. Calthor puts up a fight but is defeated. His bravery inspires others to fight against evil. Darkness returns. Mr. Smith emerges from the shadows and takes Calthor hostage. He threatens to murder him if the investigation doesn't stop if he doesn't stop his investigation, faces a moral choice, let evil go and punish or sacrifice his life for justice. Eternal mystery. After a long investigation, Calther finds evidence against Mr. Smith, but starts doubting his sanity. He eventually comes to the conclusion that he is a frog. No. I kind of like this one. I'm gonna get the best. I'm gonna get the best editor I can afford just so I can win the bet. Oh, she got them all. This better be a good book, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, it's a good one. Good for... It, it, it's hard to imagine a more boring climax. Leaves a nasty... I uh, See, that's a, that's a good review for what I was going for anyways. Dramatic twists are unconvincing and... Pro yeah, you think so? Climax is as boring as my wife. <laughs> this book is mediocre at best. It won't astonish you with the depth of thought or wit, but won't leave you with a feeling of total waste of time either. There are interesting moments here and there, but overall it's a somewhat dull read suitable for road trips or bedtime reading. Not really my cup of tea, but the author tried. That's the best review I've ever seen so far. Yeah, beat that lady. If she beats that, I'm gonna be real upset, actually. No, I did great. I might. Love and Twilight, which became a. To Who wrote that? Not. What's her face, right? Zariah Pitt? Oh, I think I beat her, right? Did I beat her? Oh, she hasn't published her book yet. The drama. I need to write a drama again. How oh, your stories make me forget about her yet? I don't know if that's a good thing, uh, but I hope so, yeah. I guess it is. After reading the choice, I decided to go back to children's books. At least they make sense. That's all right, whatever. Screw you, Linux. I'm gonna get more, oh, I can't afford more classes yet, but soon I'm gonna get more classes. Drama. Parallel worlds. Equinox means, but what does it mean? <laughs> Google. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, but I just want a fancy word. That sounds, that sounds awesome, actually. The time or date twice a year at which the sun crosses the celestial equator, which day and night are approximately equal length. length. That's like perfect, bro. I think. I think that's great. Good job, me. Vocabulary. Look at that. Look at vocabulary. Hey, Zariah Pitt, you better release your book and tell me I did better than you. I learned nothing, Jon Snow.
Thanks, she's been working on that book for a long time, boys. Oh my god, did she beat me? She did! You gotta be kidding me, bro. You cheater. Uh, I had no errors in my book, man. God darn it. Based on your select genre theme, Lost Sun wanders the world and... St what the f That has nothing to do with it. You suck. Whatever. I don't have a choice. She beat me, bro. Bad. That's like one of the best books that's been released, honestly, so far. Okay, there we go. That's good. That makes sense. The world of the double. Okay, bad climax. I don't care. Amazon discovers a world inhabited by Amazons. He decides to stay there. Finds himself in the underworld and finds the ghost of his son there. Roger breaks out crying. His beloved son is already dead. Ends up in the world of his double and finds his son already there. But the problem is he already has a father. That's like Judgment Day when that guy gets a clone. And they think he's gone. They thought he was gonna die, but he survives or something. A lot of these are already like plots, but. Yes, the strongest deserves the right to happiness through tears. Sees how happy his son is with his dad. I mean, that's the better ending, but I like that one better. On the edge, secretly eliminates his double in order to become his father's son again. The son notices the difference. That's a good one. It is drama, so. I can't believe she got 4.9, bro. I feel like she only got 4.9 because we doled each other. I honestly, that's what I feel like. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I can write her. You need to stop writing Andrew Volovsky. You suck, and I hate you. Oh, wow, she did have another... Man, she's had two good books, I guess. Oh, no, she's had three good books. She just happened to have that one we were doing. I don't like you. Opinion of you, not great. I don't have a good opinion of you either, lady. By the way. <laughs> By the way. Okay, my editing's going up again because I've now realized what I was doing wrong with that. Book Without a Soul has an emotional range of a teaspoon, drama, and parallel world. Great choice. I know, thank you. My husband read it. I don't care about your husband or your family. Not the worst book that I've read, but close. It's total trash. I mean, that was pretty good for not spending for an editor. There we go. I read your book overnight. Incredibly exciting. Thank you, Gail. It's not even supposed to be funny. Royce! <laughs> Screw you, Royce. It's not supposed to be funny, bro. Fight me. God dang, dude. me by the way. <laughs> Just put that out there. Royce can fight me. <laughs> Did I already buy this? Oh yeah, I can use another one. Oh wait, I have wait, how's that work? I don't know. Oh it only lasts for so oh I thought that was permanent. Okay, well that sucks. Now I know. I can't buy that. The Fernal Machine, boy. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I got a typewriter. Wonderful. Do I have to equip it or something, or do they auto-equip? Okay, I guess we're, we're using it. Elves sometimes shine too much. I mean, it's gonna be about elves, bro. <laughs> I 
<laughs> My brain. <laughs>Chancer, that sounds interesting. Oh, that's not what I... A 25-year-old human with unusual uh, abilities lives on the border between the country of humans and the Elven Kingdom. He studies ancient magical practices under the guidance of an Elden sage, Adelor. A young and talented magician is sent to the Kingdom of Adelor to form an alliance with the Elven King. Love and change. Kyriel, a student, discovers a portal to a parallel world in the woods. He enters the parallel world where he meets an elf girl. I wanted him to be an elf too, though. Whatever, that's fine. Curse gift. Meets the ancient spirit. He gains magical powers but loses the... No. <laughs> Elves are at war with the humans and tor prisons are... Prisoners are tortured and sacrificed. I say it will snow. I mean, that's the only option I have. These other ones suck. I don't want him to lose his ability to love. It's a romance. I mean, I guess that could be... I don't know. That's too much. Trying to make it a happy ending. It's getting more and more and hard-hearted and eventually realizes that he hates his life. We're seeing the hairy armpits of it. Oh my god, what the fuck? No. Defeats evil and is forced to take its place to maintain balance. Heroic efforts wins back his love. He realizes that he belongs in the parallel world. Inside, decides to destroy the portal in order to save both worlds. Twist of fate, finds a way to unite both worlds, but ends up causing... No. This one. Yeah. Skylar Alexa released Shadows on the Boulevard. Despite the low ratings, the book is selling well. Tired y'all and your crappy book selling well. Fight me. She takes ten years to write a book down there's a Raya or whatever her name is. I'll become the best editor eventually. Edited more. Yeah, screw it. Why not? That's why she takes so long to write. She kept editing her book. I mean, I got all my like errors out of my book, though. It wasn't gonna get any better. How many more dates do I have? I wish I could tell. Because I don't want to be wasting all this time when I can write one more book. I'm going in for it. Let's see. How many days do we got left? Yeah, I'm going in to make this the best book I can. And if I drop, I drop. I've I improved my editing. Yes! Fantasy for the undemanding reader. Not for everyone. It will find its audience so it felt like reading a draft. I don't care. I got good ratings. Not really my cup of tea, but the author tried. The book is mediocre at best. It won't astonish you with depth of thought or wit, but won't leave you with a feeling of total waste, time waste either. There are interesting moments here and there, but overall, it's a somewhat dull read, read suitable for a road trips or bedtime reading. Okay, I read it. What's next? I did well. That went really well, actually. I mean, it didn't sell as well as I would have liked for all the work I put into it, but that's okay. I'm gonna just pump out a crappy book.
Grim Ghost, okay. Baylor Lucero. Our boat before the thing ends, maybe, so I can take second place. A 32 year old anthrop anthropologist works in a small town. He finds an ancient artifact that, according to a legend, can bring the dead back to life. A 30 year old detective from New York moves to a small town from Sidon where strange and terrifying events begin to occur. With a mysterious cult operating in the city, the locals begin to turn into zombies. Cold Dawn, the remnants of humanity are fighting for survival in a world engulfed in a zombie pa epidemic. Baylor Lucero, a 25-year-old bounty hunter, finds a scientist with a generous, juicy reward on his head. Previously, the scientist was working on a vaccine. The scientist's 10-year-old son with, is with him. Uh, it sounds interesting. I don't know if it works with the options I chose, but I don't think we're going to be able to finish the book anyways. Uh, climax for the select climax. Okay, Baylor discovers a perfect place where the scientists can continue working on the vaccine, but it soon turns out that it is overflowed with zombies. Baylor is trapped. The scientist's son is infected with the zombie virus. The scientist who can potentially create a vaccine is too valuable. Is it worth putting the scientists in danger? Baylor brings the scientists to a local group of survivors and gets the reward: endless darkness. It's gonna be close. I might actually finish the book. The survivors find a way out and get back to working on the vaccine. Eternal Night. A crowd of zombie tears the characters apart. The same fate awaits the rest of humanity. New World discovers a way to get past zombies unnoticed. However, at the last moment, he closes the bunker door in front of the scientist's son. The boy is killed by zombies. That's messed up. Abandon the group. Abandons the group and tries to escape on his own. He has pangs of conscience. Only the strongest survives. One for all. Becomes attached to his camp companions. It sacrifices himself that the si Okay. I like that one. Helps scientists to organize... A... Uh, a, a laboratory in a safe place and provides them with everything they need. The scientist's son turns out to be healthy. Rash decision. Baylor steals documents from the scientist and runs away. He sells the document... No, but with... Uh, of money to live comfortably till the end of those days, but without the scientists, there is no chance of overcoming the epidemic. The world is doomed. I think I have time to do like one edit. Maybe. How long does it take? I think it's two weeks, two weeks, two months. Okay, I think I have time. Might have time to edit it multiple times, actually. Depends on what, how this counts. Uh, should I do it one more time? Do I have time? Nah, I'm just gonna publish it. I'm not gonna risk it. I kind of rushed the book out anyway, so I shouldn't be too mad if it sucks. There are monsters, there is no fear. Where is the editor's mind? The author clearly wrote a book for babies, and even to them, the book will seem too basic. I mean, it's for everybody. I remember being forced to read such things in school. Scary times. My eyes are bleeding. It would have made a great comic book. Seriously. See, somebody liked it. They got the idea. Uh, I'm not going to take the lead, though. I'm not going to get second. I tried. Oh, wait, I did get second somehow. I had the best writer rating, tied with Scarlet. Uh, best book, Love and Twilight. That's not mine. Oh. Yeah, you had the worst book this time. Take that. Oh, did she win the rock, paper, scissors? Good for you. Wow. Oh, he's back. Stay down, Andre Volkovsky. Definitely complete level five. Two players 
To write the maximum number of books. Oh, that should be easy enough, I guess. Jim Bob. Jim Bob, a young hippie, comes to the village to live away from the bustle of the city. He rents a an old barn with a vegetable garden begins to settle down. Give to Morpheus is an ordinary library living in the towns of Eldor. One day he discovers that his dreams can change reality. That sounds interesting. Jim Bob, an alien, creates his spaceship in the fantasy world of the late Middle Ages. Jim Bob takes human form. Oh man, these. This seems like it's more of a Jim Bob type of story, but. I think this is the best one for the title. I think that fits the title the best. He tries to change his life for the better through his dreams, but ends up creating chaos. Doing justice tries to help his. No. Coincidence. Oh, well, I should read the whole thing. <laughs> Sounds people catch criminals using his gift. Learns of an impending disaster and wants to prevent it, but he can't sleep because of his anxiety. Better life. Except, might lose, but it is what it is. Lord of Dreams learns to control. I like that. Learns to control his power and uses good beyond. Begins to spend more and more time in his sleep, but soon he forgets how to come back to reality and dream within a dream. Suddenly wakes up and realizes that he dreamed about his ability. Saving reality, he realizes that his power creates havoc in the real, real life and stops using it. Farewell to Elder. Leaves his hometown to stop to help people in other places. Yeah, let's do this. Because he basically gets to the point where he controls his dreams after struggling with it. I like that. That's gross. That's good. Oh. Oh, there's so many errors. You know who's good at correcting errors? Your boy. I can only do it once, but hopefully I'll get a lot of them out of there. Wish I could do it again, but I can't. Can't afford it. Unfortunately, I did the best I could. Verse of Voyager. The author clearly messed up his priorities in a story setting turns out to be more important than dialogues. The author couldn't have chosen a better theme and genre. A good plot, but a math quiz is more exciting. You write like my sister. Mistakes and inconsistencies make the book impossible to read. Eh, I'm a lose, but still pretty good. She shouldn't have any prestige to use, to be honest, so. Sophia Collins. Yeah, where's your... She doesn't have anything to edit with, so. Dear the Fluffy Panda, I would like to... I would really like to comprehend what it is that you wanted to say in Wacky Wave. It should have been Wacky Wavy. Wacky Wave inflatable timelines. The plot doesn't make any sense and the characters are flat. Thanks for your review. Look at this dude. Thanks for your review. Thanks for the emotional ups and downs. Thanks for the review. Nice. Okay. Come on. Sex? And I want uh, noir is really cool.
Everyday life could be fun eventually. Do you get to keep these? I hope so. Okay, I'm ready. But yeah, she shouldn't be able to edit her book any. If she gets like a perfect score on that, her book, I'm gonna be real pissed, actually, because she can't edit her book. Like she did last time. She took all day to edit her book last time. I would have too if I could have, but I just didn't have the thing yet. I'm gonna do a noir. I'm gonna do crime, cyberpunk. Oh, can I make a noir or nah? Yes, I won! I was about to say, bro, I should have won. Crime and cyberpunk is a perfect combination. Cyberpunk and adults will have an effect on major sales. The cyberpunk theme, yeah, I know. Why is Noir not an option, I wonder? Yeah, take that, Zariah Pet, you yeah, dingus. Shadow trading. The year is 2148. Rowan, a 29-year-old arms dealer, receives an order for a large batch of illegal weapons for one of the lower city groups. Shortly after the transfer of weapons to bandits, a series of celebrity kidnappings take place in the city. 32-year-old detective lives in the metropolis of the future where technology and politics are closely intertwined with secret cults. Oh, 1.3. Take that. Negative 1.3. Wow. Or just 1.3. Okay. Secret of the cult. Rowan exposes a secret meeting of high-ranking politicians and leaders. Oh, what is this? Oh, bad contacts. Okay. Leaders of a mysterious cult that seek to control the city with the help of technology. His investigation leads him to a dangerous and powerful cult that has roots in the depths of the city's... I mean, yeah. Bunges in the virtual world to expose a technological conspiracy, but encounters unexpected enemy crabs. In this virtual maze, he discovers a network of mind manipulation that threatens the freedom and safety of the citizens. Political crisis. During the investigation, the scandal helps prevent a political crisis by revealing the manipulation by the sect and the influence of technology on the upcoming election. He is trying to prevent a catastrophe and preserve the integrity of the democratic process. I like this one. Restores justice, exposes the cult, and helps establish a legitimate government. The city is beginning a new era of justice and Rowan becomes a hero. Opening a new page in the history of the city, technological tyranny. Rowan fails to prevent the onset of a technological tyranny, and the city plummets into the era, era of horror. The cult and the political allies take power, and technological control becomes all-consuming. Rowan understands that fight the fight is just beginning. New boss. Rowan becomes the head of a new cybercrime department, starting a new era in the fight against technological chaos. With his resolute leadership, the department uncovers a number of major cases, restoring order and hope in the metropolis. Unexplored horizons, cool and unruffled, Rowan leaves his life in the metropolis behind and goes looking for new adventures. He abandons his past life, searching for the truth in remote corners of the world. He realizes that his struggle against injustice is just beginning. A self-forgetful hero. 
returns to his ordinary life as a detective continuing to fight crime in the shadow of a big city. His daily struggles with small and big crime continues for him. Every case matters. An unlikely ally discovers that his, his old enemy, the cult leader, was actually a double agent that was helping him all this time. The shocking twist explains a bunch of mysteries. This one. That's the title. And uh, you boy, I do it for free. What's the maximum number of books? I wonder. I don't even know. God dang, look at how many points she's got. What did I just do? Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay, whatever. Detective for beginners, nothing special. The author clearly messed up his priorities in the story. The setting turns out to be more important than the dialogue's average. I expected more. I mean, these are the best reviews I've gotten. The great detective to story to spend an evening with, although the characters are not charismatic enough, some parts are okay, but overall, man. This is a work of art, but I will find something to complain about. Oh, thanks, Foggy Man. You're the best. Hey, new ready. I mean, that's new best for me. How am I doing? I'm doing alright. Not really a review, but appreciate it. I still don't know what the max number of books is, but... Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing. I know I shouldn't, but... Wait a second. <laughs> oh, I wish I could pick multiple themes, bro. I was about to make a furry book just to see how it did. Oh wait, I gotta change the audience. Hell nah. Audience is old, like, adults. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait a second. If I use the wrong word, just forgive me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's Ralph from, uh, what was that game back in the day just where you destroyed the city? Ralph is a young man, young man going on a journey to the city of love where all sexual dreams come true. Ralph learn, plans to grow spiritually and become a man. I've already read that, we're not doing that one. Oh, look at this. Great climax. One of the climaxes will be better received by the readers than the rest. On his way to the city of love, Ralph meets a girl named Anita. They continue their journey together into the past. <laughs> After a taxi journey, Ralph finally arrives to the city of love. He sees thousands of women, men, women and men reaching out their hands to him. Reborn. <laughs> During the journey, Ralph is spiritually reborn. When he reaches the city of love, he realizes that he has the power and has become a man. He decides to go back home with... Oh, this one. Oh, I got the right one? Is that what that means? Get a bonus for choosing the climax. The book had a different... Oh, okay. Be careful, the ending will... Oh, Ralph reaches the city of love. He's thrilled. He cannot stop having fun. Certainly he forgets about his past and becomes a slave like thousands of other... No. Nightmare. Becomes a slave? Why do people keep making me a slave? Or Ralph a slave? Become one of the city residents. He has to satisfy his captured sexual desires. Venus. Ralph and Anita are hesitant to enter the city. During the journey, they found each other. Yeah, I like that one. Anita has sex with another man. Plucks. Oh, no, no. 
<laughs> no, oh no, baby. <laughs> New generation of devices. Typing Titan. I don't know what the max number of books is. Honestly, I have the best book, apparently. It's a me, editor man. This is probably not a good thing to do because I'm supposed to just be pumping out books, but still. Climax was fantastic. You can totally skip a yawn. Well, I tried. Climax is great. Hey, what is these numbers for what I did? We're three, but only to kill time. Man, everybody said they liked everything. Well, that was one of my better reviews, but people said they didn't like it. I really like to read, but I've read your book with great pleasure. That's what I was aiming for, good Jessica. Great pleasure. <laughs> Animals. Probably shouldn't be going from sex book to a kids book, but relationships. Muffy is a hunter. No, we ain't killing dragons, bro. This is for kids. Flyswatter. In a strange world of intelligent animals, a fly clan that is waging a never-ending war against the snake clan, suddenly a boy named Muffy comes from the war another world. We're gonna do Ryder, because that doesn't seem like people are gonna kill people. Hopefully. None of them is really what I want, though. Oh, we can make them peaceful here. This could work. Uh, this could work for the title. See, I tried to pick the title first and then try to make it work, but... Worse can. Uh, Fender Flies... Peace and love. Tries to stop the war between the clans, yeah. I do have a lot of money, I think. I don't know if they'll stay with me, though. I hope they do. Peacemaker convinces the clan to end the conflict. The era of prosperity begins. Unreliable Peacemaker convinces the clans to end the conflict. During the truce, the spiders suddenly attack, defeating... Oh, Jesus. War is magic. Tries to convince the clan to end the conflict. Both clans decide to attack the boy. <laughs> the clans are not interested... Oh, okay. Peacemaker. Kids book, bro. I don't care about your chaotic ending. Doesn't fit my book, loser. I'm definitely not going to get the max books done. Oh well. I don't even know what the max books are, so... What the f 
Love leaves at what? Has an emotional range of a two. It's a kid's book. I don't care. It's a kid's book. You can fight me. Your book just what? It's a kid's book. God dang. <laughs> God, I'm was this blatant nonsense. You're supposed to be a writer, and this is yeah. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Jesus Christ, bro. Kids book. We're gonna write another one about animals, actually. Young adults this time. What? And today I am a rat. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Fair. Harry Potter. I mean, that book sold really well. Arrives to an ancient Asian city to explore before the ruins of an abandoned the last dragon. Finds the very last dragon. Wait a second. Ryder a young connects us to Broken Sakura, why not? It seems like it really wants me to do a Japanese story for whatever reason. Covers a katana that belonged to an ancient samurai. I don't know what this has to do with animals, but okay. So the castle comes to life, hunting is hunted by the spirit of a samurai warrior. Vision touches the mummy of a soldier and sees the castle pass. A long time ago, the castle was cursed by a giant fox because it was built in his domain. Uh, let's do the fox because we're a animal, supposed to be an animal story. We'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, Secret of the castle summons the fox spirit and asks it to lift the curse off the castle, but in return demands permission and inhabit the protagonist. That's great, actually. Perfect. That's a great ending. That's exactly what we're looking for. I think I have time to edit it once, so I'm gonna try. I think I have time to edit it once before I release it. Fantasy for those who hate fantasy. I expect much more from the author, but not uh, not for everyone. It will find this audience, though. Or three, but only to kill time. Good plot, but the math quiz. Not the worst book I've read, but close. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to pump out books, so I'm fine with it. Your book is a rare gem you want to read. Again and again, it left its mark on me. Thank you. I like that your stuff goes up, but at the same time, it just feels like pumping out books is what matters more than, like, actually being intricate with it, but that's okay. I wouldn't recommend Moon of the Player to my worst enemy. It's too cruel even for them. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's kids book still, but whatever. I had the best book. Me! I don't know how she had so much prestige, to be honest. Maybe because I spent some? I don't know. Yeah, successfully... Cormac MacArthur? That's... Ain't that an actual... I don't know. That sounds like... Who wrote, uh, Blood Meridian? Cormac McCarthy. Yeah, that's got to be a reference for sure. I guess these are all probably some kind of reference. I just don't read enough books to know. Mizuki Hokurami and Pavel Web Velvin, whose book gets the highest average score progress. Oh, I can do that. I want to write the best books. For sure, I can do that. No, screw you, Scarlet. Fight me, Ethan. I do have money though, so. Did I get to keep my stuff? Did I still. Yeah, okay, I think I did. That's good. Huh.
I'm gonna actually, I'll buy a typewriter next time. I'm hoping I can get enough for like, what is this? I want that, I want that. I'll get that, if I can get the money. Hopefully. Okay, uh, let's write a, we'll try again with the horror, even though everybody hates my horror stories for whatever reason. Time travel and horror goes really well together. What? How is horror and time travel a bad combination? I guess science fiction would be better, but I don't know about that. Okay, based on your selected zone, Simon, a researcher, discovers a zone in which time runs in reverse. That's not what I would choose, but that is what I'm getting, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what you're giving me. Begins to study the mysterious zone, but soon realizes that it is absorbing his past changes. Enters the zone and finds himself in the past. He begins to change the past in order to prove... Yes, that. Probably that. Decides to use the zone to go back in time and prevent his wife's death. I like that one. I think that's interesting. And his wife lived happily at- no. Sacrifice. Dies saving his wife. The wife goes on living. Returns to the present. That one. That's a good horror ending, in my opinion. I mean, that's the only ending there that seemed like horror, to be honest with you. I am the best- wait, I can't choose myself? Oh, I don't have enough prestige. You gotta be kidding me. I do have money, though. The final dance. I hope he's not in my group. God, what is her prestige? Why is this? she's cheating, bro? For sure. Can't impress some readers. Good idea, poor execution. Horror and time travel. I'm the author. Sure thought that you can fight me, dude. I thought that fit. Whatever. I don't care. I really like the book. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> some parts were okay, but overall, man, didn't expect a masterpiece, and I wasn't wrong. I don't care what you think. Fight me. I mean, I kind of care, but not that much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm number one now need to do another story though so I can get more money yeah but look she's got 3.2 she must have like a fan base or something I don't know what she's doing she's cheating because her books suck like her books suck I don't understand oh she likes me though okay well yeah, it's forgiven <laughs> your book sucking is forgiven that's fine <laughs> okay so now we're gonna do sci-fi and we're gonna do time travel again Actually, let's do a village. That could be interesting. Let's do it for the old people. I haven't done a senior story yet, so I don't know what kind of books they would read either, though.
I don't care if you think it's a bad combination, I think it's interesting, so fight me. Vegetables now. <laughs> a journalist goes to a remote village to investigate rumors of mutants. Larry, a young scientist, comes to a remote village to study the unusual properties of local vegetables. He discovers that vegetables have intelligence and ha the that sounds cool. Village legends. Uh, a young writer comes to a remote village to write a book on local legends. Treasure comes to visit his grandmother. She tells him that there is a treasure hidden somewhere nearby. I'm going with vegetables. I don't care. Old people might become vegetables soon. You never know. Oh, God dang. Relatable, right? <laughs> oh, right. The vegetables repel against people and take over the village. Larian is captured. Larian discovers that he can communicate with the vegetables. He makes friends with a pumpkin named Timmy. I like that. One of my <laughs> close friends was named Timmy. One day, uh, Larian discovers that vegetables in the village have come to life. They begin to talk and move like people. Larian is shocked and scared. Actually, I actually like that one. Any vegetable will have to be another time. Unpredictable. The vegetables begin to behave unpredictably. They can either help or harm them, can't understand what is happening, and eventually goes crazy, uses his knowledge to learn how to control the vegetables, becomes their leader, and establishes a new civilization. That's interesting. Sure. I mean, it's not the best thing, but it's interesting. I like that you can see how your editing is going up there. I think that's really cool. Not for everyone. I will. It will find its audience, though. The author is trying to be clever. The plot is too complicated for the target audience. Old people? I expect much more from the author. I don't know what old people like, so I have no idea. Book is slightly better than furniture assembly instructions. Support the read, but only to kill time. Read it, forgot it next. I guess. Could have been worse, I'm sure. I do have like a fan base now, though, so that's kind of cool. Let me buy my new typewriter. Like, okay. please let me buy it. I want it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'll do a crime romance story. <laughs> I guess guys could read it too. I don't know. I feel like it's... <laughs> I feel like the audience for that kind of... Like, sex books are usually females, but I could be wrong. I honestly have no idea what I'm talking about. New sequel. When do I get sequels, bro? Am I ever gonna have sequels? Conduct 10 successful research. Oh, look at that. It's a perfect combination. Sex and adults will have major. Despite being often associated with sexual positions, most of the Kama Sutra text is actually dedicated to the philosophy and theory of love, as well as the social and familiar aspects of life. Uh, care about the world.
Murder in a brothel. No. Yeah. No. A beach lifeguard is investigating. God darn it, dude. What the hell are these options? Okay. Uh, Clyde's a detective, I guess. Marilyn. After interviewing witnesses, Clyde starts to suspect Marilyn. A prostitute worked alongside the victim. Before the visit investigation begins, Clyde visits the brothel as a client to have sex and relax before the investigation and interrogation with an addiction. The brothel owner is delighted with the detective. He offers him an ex sex in exchange for information. Marilyn and not Bonnie, but... Induction. Marilyn answers Clyde's questions honestly and then seduces him. After having sex with her, Clyde arrests her because... What the hell? Oh, that's not what... We gotta change the title, but... Leaves a nasty aftertaste. God did poor execution. You can totally skip it. Okay, whatever. Couldn't figure out who the main villain. There was no villain, bro. Dude, I agree with the bad things they're saying about the book and the writer. Thanks, sharks. God dang. Hello. Oh, I thought I was gonna do good. It did not. But that is what it is, I guess. Boy becomes a man. Oh. Rumbo. Name's Rumbo. Like Dumbo. In the kingdom of Altaria, where everyone has a magical ability, young Rumbo discovers that he does not possess any magical talent. He embarks on a journey in hopes of fixing that. 
Rumbo is the young heir to the throne and an Asian empire. He does not want to be ruler in dreams of freedom. One day, he escapes from the palace and goes on a trip around the country. Black Sheep, Rumbo is a guy with a disfigured face. He shuns people. Rumbo spends his day live, sitting alone in his hut and thinking about life. Locals keep away from him. Stay from the palace. For the select to plot, the following scenarios are available. Rumbo falls into the trap of an enemy who wants to seize power. The hare will have to decide whether to return and accept his duties or fight for freedom. Rumbo is captured by robbers. They hope to get a ransom for him, but Rumbo escapes. Rumbo finds an ancient manuscript that reveals to him the truth about his past. He learns that he is a descendant of a powerful wizard. This one. I got a mailbox thing. Wait a second. Rumbo breaks out of the trap and returns to the palace. He becomes wise and just king, and his empire thrives. Probably that one. Killed fighting his brother. <laughs> his death causes chaos and war in the empire. Breaks out of the trap, but continues his journey. His enemy is seizing power in the kingdom. Rumbo ignores that. That's one. That's the happy ending for sure. Your characters are like my childhood friends. Thank you, Zaheer. I like that. That's I like that I'm getting better reviews now and people don't hate me all the way as much as they did. I mean, I'm doing pretty good on average, I feel like. I feel like I'm doing great for this scenario. I'm glad that I figured out how to do the editing thing and I've been working on it. That's nice. Having your editing boost up is super fantastic. The Wise Words Weekly. Exciting plot with minor flaws. The scale of events is underwhelming. The author clearly messed up its priority and story. Saying turns out to be more important than dialogues. I mean, yeah. Boring, but at least it's well written. It would have made a great comic book. Worth the read, but only to kill time. Well, I didn't do it as good as I would have liked, but... Gather an audience of 3,000 people. Earn at least 2,500. New generation of devices. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that right now. I got a pretty good book. I mean, typewriter. Is that like ancient time kind of stuff? Like olden days, maybe? I could ride Twilight. I'm sure that'll do well in this game. I feel like it would. Sci-fi, uh, technologies, okay, reptile, Technologies.
uh, technologies and scientific approach. Archer the Machine, a 35 year old AI developer, creates the world's first robot to pass the Turing test. I don't even know. <laughs> the post pilot, Theodore no. Periphery, is a research astronaut in a galaxy far, far away. He discovers the planet Diclos, inhabited by intelligent insects. I like this one. Sentient AI creates the first AI capable of experiencing emotions. He faces a moral dilemma when his creation starts asking questions about itself. Uh, the corporation Theodore works for wants to use his achievements to create an army of ruthless robots. Battle with the creator creates anthropomorphic robots. After developing consciousness, the robots try to break free. Theodore does everything in his power to stop them. Sentient AI. Uh, yeah, man. Can I actually give him a tip? I mean, thanks for your review. The best tip, obviously. <laughs> Theodore begins to treat his friends like people, or his creatures like people. People are afraid of robots and refuse to accept them. Theodore founds his own city where humans and robots are equal. That's interesting. The machines take control, and Theodore becomes leader of the resistance, love, and iron. Robots soon become an integral part of society, helping and caring for people. Robots replace factory workers, but at the same time, food has almost become free. The era of prosperity has come. Among the machines, Theodore abandons his normal life to live among robots. He falls in love with a robot named Kara. That's cool. Uh, Theodore finds a common ground with the corporation. Military developments are curtailed, while peace-oriented robotics is flourishing. That's kind of dope. probably isn't the best ending, but I like it, so <laughs> I can't tell my character he can't find love, <laughs> bro. Can't do it. The author couldn't have chosen a better theme and genre. Creative brilliance on every page. The scale of events is underwhelming. What? Okay, I'll find me then. I read this book with my grandmother in the hospital. We both burst into the tears. Worth your time. I strongly recommend it. This book gave me my new favorite character. I like that. Thanks, guys. Yay. I win. <laughs> I win. I am oh, okay, lady. She cheating. Does that work? That's cool. Oh, it doesn't. It's it's not a word. I didn't think so, but sounds cool. Miguel. Gold of the century. A young magician is in a high security school for crime. He doesn't didn't commit. He is deprived of his magical abilities. Is a boy with a difficult fate. One day he receives a mystery. Okay, Harry Potter. It's not as successful as my book, though. Uh, why is this? Miguel meets a stranger, offers him a deal. If Miguel helps him escape, the stranger will help him regain his magical abilities. Gives away a Miguel gives away a certain school bully. He might be transferred to a 
regular school of magic. Flying broom. One day the student learned a spell of summoning a flying broom. They used the spell to fly away from school. The teacher's in shock. That sounds interesting. Why not? Don't say Vita. Miguel flies home where he plays computer game. God darn it. He sells a broom for a fortune and starts living like a rock star. Actually, that kind of fits, I think, a little bit. It's the only choice I have, so. I don't know how much time I got. I'm just going to publish this bad boy. Uh, I can't, though, because if I do, I'm just going to ruin my thing, so I'll just might not release the book, honestly. It wasn't anything special anyway, so. Yeah, it ain't going to release. That's okay. I think I had the best books by far anyways. Yeah. Yeah, take that, JD ballin'. Huh. Oh, she won't go away. <laughs> George Murphy. Oh, is that the guy that uh, did the... Was it? Uh, that one thing I never watched that everybody said was awesome. Uh, Game of Thrones? Is that him? Allegedly. Two players whose book go to the lowest rating progress. What? Go, who got the lowest rating progress level one. Also, I, I got right the worst, but that's stupid. I don't like that. I don't like when games want you to do something bad. I can do that easy. Uh, let's see. What do we want to write about? A lot of these people do not like together. <laughs> Wait a second. Let me look at that again. Wait a second. Fantasy, no wait, horror, elves. Well, it tells me the interest now. I don't know what that means, but. Okay, so if I go, seniors don't like it, good. It doesn't matter what gender, okay. No research. Terror in the woods. His wife Monica are spending a night in the cabin in the woods. At night, they are attacked by a man with a bow. That's the only choice I got, so. Counterattack. The archer wounds the protagonist's wife. Bumblebutt takes a gun and goes into the woods. Yes. <laughs> yes! Bumblebutt and Monica fight off the attack in the cabin. They find a book of fairy tales. The book is open on the page with a fable about an elf. Injury. Bumblebutt gets shot in the leg. Bumblebutt and Monica get into the car and drive away. Be careful. The ending will directly... After experiencing the horror, Bumblebutt becomes composed and ca collected. Camouflaged with mud. He quietly wanders through the forest. Finally, he finds the elf. Bumblebutt finds him and death in the forest. Dies of blood loss. The archer turned out to be more cunning. Smoke escapes, sets the forest on fire. The smoke obstructs Villa's ability, allowing him to leave the forest unnoticed. That doesn't piss people off. I don't know what will. What the hell? How did it do so good? As an emotional rage, good idea, pork. That's the worst I can do, bro. Plot is like an old sock. Not the worst book I've read, but close. God darn it, dude. How can I do worse than that? 
The best? Oh, please, Seth. The fluffy pants drives, he should start with the basics. Thanks, man. That's not what we're looking for. Uh. Flying Ball Man is a famous track and field athlete. <laughs> Following a car accident, he ends up in a wheelchair. Okay. Perfect. Uh, for the... Oh, here we go. Doesn't give up and starts training under a Paralympic instructor, alternative medicine. Determined to get better, bowling turns to Eastern spiritual practices. He is slowly healing. Loses hope and starts drinking a lot. Well, I pretend everything is okay. Perfect. Bolin quits drinking and becomes a coach, finding his true vocation. The third way, becomes a coach, realizing his professional potential. He continues to drink in secret, though, infinity. infinity. Bolin lives alone. He turns away from his loved ones. His only friend is alcohol. is not sad or happily. He never, he all simply exists. Uh, if y'all don't hate this book, something's wrong with y'all. Book is mediocre at best. It won't astonish you with depth or thought or wit, but won't leave you with feeling of total waste, time waste either. The book slightly better than furniture assembly instructions. I really like the book. Good value. God, y'all are killing me, dude. Oh my god, what's wrong with you people? How is this happening? You're incredible. Thanks, Briggs. Green Big Balls is dirty. Fury, I got the feeling that I did something wrong to literature. Now it's seeking. Hey. Your mom is very beautiful. I took her out. Hey, Jet. <laughs> okay, I'm killing it. Because she got an 8.8, .8, which is... Yeah, we're killing it so far. Okay. Can I go to, like, a... Can I put my cheap tripe rider back on? Is that a thing? Use. Yes. There we go. This should make it a lot easier. Huh. Make a bank. Charles is a ghost who doesn't want to live without meaning anymore. He reflects on his. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Uh. Entertainment. The ghost finds a legal way to scare people. He gets a job at an amusement park looking for a way out. Is trying to leave the afterlife. He can no longer bear the existence. Police. Goes to the police station. Ask what he should do. Perfect. Police hire spy to spy on criminals. Epiphany. A religious organization hires Charles to sneak into people's houses at night and scare them. We're going to have thousands of new... Perfect. Spends all his time peeping at young couples at night. Even perfecter. Should have probably been the second one, but I feel like this might... Give me the bad end that I'm looking for. 
Dang, Cosmic Phoenix down there. Seeing the expectations, it's sucking. Yes, I win. Don't read it, Saga Spectral. <laughs> yes, we did it. Wow, it sold so much, though. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm reading Friendly Every Day, Manson. I forgot what joy was. Thanks for this great oblivion. Yeah, thanks, man. Reading Friendly Every Day, Mason. I feel felt like I lost part of my life. Yeah, okay. Okay, I can go back to writing good books now. That was the only part of the challenge, right? I think the goal is just to write the worst book, right? I think. Could be wrong. I didn't change my typewriter back. Shadow training. The year is 2148. Barry, a 29 year old arms dealer, receives an order for. Oh, I've already done it. seen that one, but I guess it's my only choice. Let me change my typewriter back. I'll buy this one soon. I don't know if I want. Uh, yeah, I do, actually. That'd be nice, Golden Rush. I might just save for that bad boy. Uh, let's see. Barry keeps away from what is happening. There's a coup in Cyber City with riots breaking out in the streets. The group to, group to which Barry sold weapons has taken all the power and is committing outrageous sudden encounter. Transforming, transferring weapons to the bandits, Barry notices a girl who looks a lot like a sister who was separated from him in the orphanage. Barry joins the gang to make sure his guess was right. Arrest. After a series of kidnapping, the police arrest Barry for legal sale and possession of prohibited weapons. After his trial, Barry ends up in a secret prison where he undergoes... That sounds like it fits. I'd like to go to that one, but I feel like this just fits better. That's in prison. Well, that's not what I was looking for. After being sent to prison, Barry becomes a test subject. He becomes a testing ground. Barry dies. Oh, well, my bad. That was not what I was looking for. But I guess I wrote another bad book on accident. Whoops. Nothing to correct, I already did. Author couldn't have chosen a better theme, good but nothing more. The yeah. I really like the book, thanks. Unexpectedly engaging. This book gave me my new favorite character. Nice. How do you spell that? I don't think it is. It could be. Oh, nailed it.
Robbers of the Fortress, Joel, a 30-year-old commander of the elite Royal Squad Squad, squad is tasked with neutralizing robbers that terrorize border towns in the vicinity of the fortress of high rock backstage games joel lover and advisor to the empress esther has been unfairly accused of treason titan joel is an experienced knight who serves the kingdom of arden he learns that a village known as titan is planning to take over all the kingdoms and races in the world that sounds interesting let's do that one Coalition. The Knight manages to unite all kingdoms and race into a powerful coalition. They fight the Titans in an epic battle. I like that one. Titan's Castle. Decides to travel to the land of the Animus to stop Titan. He reaches Titan's mystic castle and confronts him in a duel. Joel and Titan discover that they are actually brothers. They decide to join forces to create a new world and breed it now. I like this one. I like both of these, but this one I like better. Uh... Joel dies, but no. So as exaggerated turn- no. Aftertaste. Easily gaining everyone's respect, but shortly after he becomes obsessed with- I like that. I like that. Reading has ah, uh, didn't do as good as I would have liked. I'm trying to catch flowers in the rain, but I'm not doing too good. Okay, call my car through. Did anybody beat my worst book yet? I don't think so. <laughs> Friendly everyday man, so what a what a one to go so badly. I haven't unlocked comedy yet. I should get comedy. Is that not in, I wonder if that's in the game yet. What's my best book? Infinite Realization? Yeah, that one did really good. You beat that, though. That one. How do you get comedy? Can you get comedy? That thing? Maybe comedy's not in the game yet. I don't know. I wish there was like a buy all button. You might just go down because she didn't write a bad book. She's only wrote like good books, I think. I don't think she's. Maybe she did, but I don't think so. Themes. Uh, drama. Do uh, slavery. I feel like I can make a good book out of this. Oh, just for the old people, too. Why not? Seniors love. Oh my god! <laughs> I was about to say something. That was not a good thing to say. I don't think. Uh, I guess we could go Roman with it. Uh, what's a Roman name? Maybe not even Roman. Uh, oh, this one.
Murder in Athens. In ancient Athens, Jacob, a 25-year-old slave, uncovers a plot against his master as the latter becomes a suspect in the murder of his brother, Liberation. A 25-year-old sailor on a merchant ship is captured by cruel pirates and taken to an island. As an astronaut engineered and imprisoned... I'm gonna go with Murder in Athens. That sounds interesting. Web of Intrigues. With the help of other slaves, discovers a series of conspiracies that lead to the highest circles of Athenian society. A trap for the master. Master is trapped. The slave has to choose between saving his master and running away. The key to freedom. In the killer's notes, Jacob finds evidence confirming his rights to freedom, but will the slave risk using it? Secrets of the past. Meeting a mysterious female slave leads to a unexpected discovery about Jacob's past. That one. I feel like that's interesting. Arch oh, I don't have many things here. Why can't I do those, I wonder? Jacob finds out that it was his master who really killed his brother. Despite this, Jacob manipulates the evidence and saves it. Nope. Refusing a chance to gain freedom, Jacob chooses to remain a slave to pre What the fuck? What? No. What? Oh, well, I know. Screw you too, then, I guess. I mean, I couldn't give an ending. That uh, the ending sucked. Honestly, the endings you all gave me sucked. It is what it is. It doesn't matter. book looks like a warm, cozy spot, thanks, I guess. Didn't turn out how I wanted it to because they didn't give me an ending I liked. Based on your selected theme, a 17-year-old small-town teenager finds a mysterious key in the forest that transports him to a magical world. There, Thorne meets two girls, April and Bianca. Okay. I mean, that's my only choice. I don't give many choices sometimes. Decides to stay with April. This makes Bianca furious. She attacks Thorne and April and takes the key. Rejection. Has to choose between April and Bianca. He can't make up his mind, and it, it no. Rivals, April and Bianca find out that Thurn is dating both of them. They get frustrated and start to compete with each other. There we go. That's the one. Oh, they didn't like it? I don't care. And his heart overcomes Bianca, but April... What the... F That's not what. But he knows that April will always be in his heart. Thorn overcomes Bianca, but April is killed in the fight. Thorn ends up alone. Okay. Thor discovers that he is a magical creature that grew up on Earth by mistake. He finds his friends in the ma- What's that got to do with anything? Reconciliation. Reconciles April and Bianca. He explains to them that he loves both of them. And look, there we go. Factions. Thorn is caught up in war between the two warring factions. Uh, reconciliation. There we go. That's the ultimate happy ending. Let's go. Killed it. I still have the worst book, right? Yeah. Me and this guy. I hope it's not the worst average. 
Excellent dramaturgy. Bold and innovative. Wants to shake hands with the author. Yeah, nice. This is a work of art, but I will find something to complain about. This book will give me my... Where's your time? I strongly recommend it. Great. Can I meet and kiss you? This is just fricked up. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Uh, I don't have time to finish anything else, so I'm not going to start anything. End of game. Oh, hell. I've lost. But do you have to get everything perfect to make it to the end? That sucks. But I should have got... Uh, I guess you only have... I guess you have to do it perfect to get to the end. That sucks. Why well, Mad Dog Shakespeare. Like Jack Nicholson. Jack Dean, the worst book. Was, oh, his is the worst book? You have the... Wait, best-selling book. Worst book is by Jack Dean. Best book, Vasily Soraka. Oh, I didn't get any of them, actually. Dang, so you have to win every single one? Well, that's annoying, actually. Alright, I think I'm gonna try it again, but this time I'm gonna game the system and play it like I think you need to play to win. Because I want to win. <laughs> I know my name. Okay, I'm coming back for revenge. This time I'm going for the win. Start in level six. Man, that seems like it's really tight on the time, but whatever. Christian, that sounds like a great name for a vampire. A police officer is investigating a series of mysterious murders of young women. All the victims are artists. There are bite marks on their necks. There's a young man who works in a bookstore. He meets a girl named Anna. They start dating, but Christian finds out that Anna is a vampire. The scientist invents a teleport. It's a teleporter. During an experiment, a mosquito. The fly? No, I'm alright on that one. Did I get to keep my things that I bought last time? It seems like, oh no, it just gives you random themes it feels like, maybe. That's okay, whatever. One day, Christian finds out that his friend Marcus is also in love with Anna. Bite. Finds out that Anna is a vampire when she accidentally bites him. He begins to transform into a vampire. Quirrell. He will fight because Anna is a vampire and... Uh, let's go with Bite. Should get a drink. That's okay. More than anything, Christian and Anna live happily... Happily live together as vampire. Christian has come to... What is this? Has come to terms with his new life. He loves Anna more than anything in the world. Skyscraper unable to come... Nope. And it's not a real vampire. She's just an actress pretend. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. I feel like that fits, even though it doesn't fit this. I like that ending better, so it is what it is.
Get my editing leveled up early. That's going pretty well. Don't read it unsatisfactory, but there is some potential. The author clearly messed up, but that's fine. Uh, not the worst book I've read, but close. I really like the book. Good value for a price of a cup of coffee. Knowledge is the most important thing, or rather the only thing we own. And the author with his intellectual baggage and irritation is a truly rich man. Books like the this are not popular with readers. Therefore, they have small circulation. Book boring, but at least it's well written. Wonderful. I'm number one. Take that. Give me my money, you freaking loser. Hello, dear the fluffy panda. Congratulations on publishing your first book. It turned out pretty good. Okay, thank you. You're a true master of words. Thank you. After reading Sorrowful Echoes, I decided to go... That's okay. Seem to be trying, but I can't... Don't see anything good. Maybe... I don't care. I did the best out of everybody's books, so take that, loser. Uh... I feel like crime and crime would go very well together. <laughs> crime and crime! Yeah. book did really well. for the money. That'll help, I'm sure. Cylinder is a 32-year-old private detective lives in a quiet suburb. After the unexpected of his death of his father, he discovered that his family was hiding his father's dark past in the criminal underworld. Kung Fu is an experienced policeman. Knowing for his drunken Kung Fu style, he's invited to China's royal palace to investigate the murder of the emperor. Boarding house. A detective with two years experience investigates a series of strange deaths in a boarding house for talented children. I think that's interesting. I like that. Probably wanted me to choose the first one, but I like that one better. I think it sounds interesting. But I just get new something. Uh, great climax. One of the climaxes will be finds out the secret society is conducting their goal is to create human. Uh, finds out that all the deaths were recorded. I think that's interesting. Intelligence discovers that the children are dying from a drug given to them by the teachers. The drug boosts intelligence, which. Oh, that seems interesting as well. Did I get it? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Noise. solves the case and receives a generous reward. He pays for the medical and psych- That sounds awesome. Honest. Silner starts using the drug with his newfound political ambition and becomes the president of the White House. He continues to finance the boarding house now. Detective is killed by teachers. I want them. I think this is a great one. I like this one. I think that's a great ending. Might not be the most original, but I think it's awesome.
I don't really know what the goal is for the first one. I don't think I paid attention, but that's okay. Probably just be in the top two, I would figure. I don't know. Okay, good for you. I only released two books, but I want them to be two good books. You know what I mean? That's my goal. Climax was fantastic. You can totally skip it. Not bad, but... Climax is great. Hey, keep it up. I really like the book. Good value for a price of co cup of coffee. He already read this. Said that. The book is slightly better than furnished assembly instructions. Okay, thanks. Let's see what he's got for me. Hey, you really know how to captivate the reader. Thanks, you hear. Okay, what do we want to do next? We can do sci-fi and time travel and do like, no, nah, let's do fantasy. Fantasy, I feel like, is the easiest kid's thing. Fantasy, um, elves, kids, yep. Uh, approximate moves. I, I don't have time to research. Uh, it probably sounds fine. That sounds good. I'm not gonna have time to edit this one, but I'm just trying to get it out there. The 25 year old with unusual abilities lives on the border between the country of humans and the Elven Kingdom. That could be good. Edelor. Form an alliance with the Elven King. Let's do that one, actually. Alliance sounds cool. Ariana. Okay, meet a beautiful elf named Ariana. They fall in love, but Ariana is engaged to an elf prince, is captured by the orcs and taken to their lair. There he meets an elven princess, also a captive. Zephyr and the princess fall to each other, but their love is doomed. That sounds interesting. Captured by a dark mage magician who wants to use Zephyr's power to conquer the world. Zephyr manages to escape but was seriously injured. Princess are killed by orcs. Their love was never realized. I ain't gonna have time to do any. Sorry, guys. They're gonna hate this book. I don't care. I might not even get it out anyway, so. I do get it out. It's just a fluff piece for money, honestly. Yeah, not worth the fell trees, creative crisis, or haste. The author clearly... I actually that did a lot better than I thought it would. Some kind of kindergarten, not a book. I mean, it's supposed to be for kids, actually, but... All right. Pretty sure I chose the kid option, but... Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of, I've just took J.D. Ballin. Take that, J.D. Ballin. Okay, what's the next stage's goal? Oh, he made it too? Okay. His book got the highest rating progress level 4. Okay, sick, I can do that. Easy. Uh, actually, can I... Well, we'll write a book first and then we'll look for... Or vampires, that's easy. Oh, Scarlet Valley. That's a good one, too. Sure. I failed. That's okay. Archer. Uh, 
Uh, my writing didn't do too well on that one. Hospital. Archer, a journalist, agrees to spend a night in a abandoned hospital to write an article about its history. A group of volunteers goes with him virus. Archer is a deputy sheriff in a small town every night. City residents are experiencing strange visions and memory loss. It becomes clear that the whole city is infected with virus and vampirism. The only one that seems to fit. The other one didn't seem to be a vampire story. It seemed to be like a haunted hospital story. You never know, I guess, but... Finds a little lab where the science was created. He learns that the scientists were planning on creating an army of vampires. Meets the leader of the vampires. The vampire tells Archer that the virus was created by mistake. No one can stop the spread of the virus. Uh, tomb. Discovers that the virus is spreading out from an underground tomb. Go with this one. It sounds interesting. Archer find, escapes from the lab and tries to find a cure for vampirism. He c comes into contact with the other survivors. Together, they try to stop the virus mutation. The virus mutates and begins to turn people into monsters. The city plunges into chaos. Defeats the vampire leader and stops the spread of the virus. Becomes a city hero. Uh, discovers that the virus was created by the government as a biological weapon. Reveals the truth and prevents... It must be horror, so I'm going to pick this one. Uh, that's not the right one, though. Still a good ending selection, though, it looks like, so. Can't afford myself. Afford anybody else either, so okay. Not gonna do as well as I wanted to, but I don't have any. I gotta finish my one story so I can get the prestige thing up. Oh hell, they hated it. Oh, they really hated it. That sucks. Huh, my bad, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I can do that. Or the Priestess. Okay, good for you, Dan Crown. Okay, at least all our first books sucked, apparently. <laughs> God dang, we all sucked that first book. That's rough. Valent okay. Traveler for whatever that says, sure. Should have enough things so I can actually correct my own errors now. Elixir, based on your selected genre and theme as well as your abilities, the following plots are available. An elderly American archaeologist goes on expedition to China to find the elixir of youth. A year old, a 28-year-old pirate and descendant of a famous navigator is looking for a lost island, escape from the palace, young heir to the throne in an Asian empire. He does not want to be ruler. I'll take the Pirate Chronicles. Doesn't really fit the name of the book, but the name of the book's random, and I don't think it matters. Finds a map to the treasure of the Goddess of the Sea, but the map is encrypted. Comes across the infamous ship, the Flying Dutchman, meeting the Cursed Queen. During his voyage, Valant finds an island ruled by a Cursed Queen and offers him a dual battle with the Royal Navy. Sued by the Royal Navy, Valant has and his team are trying to get away from the chase.
Skyler's cool. And here are the treasures. Balance solves the map with the help of a passenger who got on the ship by pure accident and finds the treasure. Attempting to escape the pursuit, the ship... Uh, this one. Middling fantasy book, average expected more lackluster. Uh, couldn't put it aside until the very end. A captivating world that engulfs you from the very first line. It's one of the best fantasy books I've ever read. The book is mediocre best. I won't astonish you with depth of thought or wit, but it won't leave you with a feeling of total time waste either. There are interesting moments here and there, but overall, it's a somewhat dull read, suitable for road trips or bedtime reading. Yeah, easy. I think I'll win the duel. Hero, whatever your name is. Probably. Thank you, thank you. Free money. That generation's not out yet. Uh, what is this? That's a good one. For right now. Uh, sci fi, time travel. Oh, I failed. God darn it, dude. Time Patrol, a 28-year-old cyber scientist, works on a time machine project in a secret government lab laboratory amid a technological time race. Each country strives to be the first to create a functioning chrono portal. Mysterious Machine, a 35-year-old inventor, falls into a hole in the basement of his laboratory and discovers an ancient mechanism of unknown origin. Into the future, the young scientist living in a medieval bohemia he is part of a group of researchers who accidentally created a portal to the future using cow dung and radioactive deer handlers. I'm gonna go with time patrol. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I love you too. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Authorities pressure hard, and Myers decided to make his first trip in the past to the past in order to correct a Historical mistake and prove that the time machine actually works. Looped in time spots time anomalies caused by competing time machines from a different countries. He tries to fix them by dividing into a time diving into a time loop. Suddenly troopers from the future show up in the present. They want their hands on the time technology and change the course of history in their favor. Choice is faced with the more choice. Help the government for military purposes or destroy his creation to prevent Further future disasters, Hidden Menace discovers that his colleague is a spy seeking to steal technology for his own country. The struggle for control over the time machine is escalating. That sounds interesting. Oh, they didn't like that one. Oh well. I liked it, so... Victory over time successfully restores the timeline, destroying all time machines except his own. Countries all over the world sign an international on the prohibition of time technology's victim. Myers dis 
decides to destroy his time machine to prevent future conflicts but dies in the process stuck in the past remains in the past trying to live a normal life while hoping that someone from the future will come for him time troopers repels the attack of soldiers from the future and forms a team of the best minds of his time to fight together against threats from the future double agent exposes a double agent but it turns out it was a loyal test loyalty test devised by the government now he's offered to lead the entire program peaceful solution all countries agree on the peaceful solution Peaceful use of time technologies to solve gov global problems. Myers joins an international team of science scientists. Can't control all the anomalies arising from the competition between countries. Time loops are becoming more chaotic. Changing reality beyond recognition. Temporary exile. Takes refuge in another in another era to escape persecution for what he was created. For what he has created and begins a new life in the Middle Ages. I'm going to do this one. I like that one. Don't you? One I'm gonna pick. E. This will be my last book, so I'm gonna make sure it's the best one I can. I had a better book than that, loser. The author clearly messed up his priorities. The author couldn't have chosen a better thing than leaves a nasty aftertaste. Read this book, she started crying, didn't expect a masterpiece, and I wasn't wrong. Some parts are okay, well, they'll still sell well, I'm sure. Yeah. They made money, so. I had the worst book, too. Yeah, get down, Pablo Julio. I'll teach you. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Maximum number of books. Progress. Okay, we're writing as many books as possible again. How does the ocean say hello? It waves. Are you a five-year-old? Well... Making the most books possible. Girl almost agrees to spend a night in the abandoned hospital. Okay, that's the one I did. I'm gonna take that one time. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Vampire doctor attacks the journalist and his friends, forcing them to fight for their lives. See a midnight, a portal to another world opens in front of Ibrahim and his friends is inhabited by vampires. At midnight, a bloody massacre breaks out in the hospital. Vampires living there are out hunting. Oh, they like that one, so. I didn't say the book has to suck, but. What is it? Nah, reject. I'm trying to pump out books, I'm not competing with that. His friends find a way to destroy the vampires, however, they become infected and turn into vampires. Suddenly, everyone starts dancing. The musical begins, Pat. Turns out that the vampire doctor is not the only vampire in the hospital. The vampires offer a deal one person in exchange for the lives of the rest. Experiments. Abraham Tim discovers that the hospital used to be a Nazi experimental center where they breeded a race of vampires. Abraham escapes, and while the others die, he gets out of the hospital and tells everyone what happened. V victory. Manages to survive until dawn, fighting off the vamp, off and hiding from the vampire. At the end, he is looking at the sun with a joyful smile. Ibrahim and the vamp volunteers die in the hospital. Vampires drink their blood. Big V victory. They don't like that. I don't care. <laughs> That's okay.
Figueroa. Full Moon lives in a small town. The city is being attacked by creatures from the forest. Silver Ring, a young photographer, discovers the body, dead body of a wolf in the woods. The wolf wears a silver ring on his paw. Wolf Brothers, two brothers, Makai and Will, go hunting in the woods. Will is attacked by a giant wolf. Oh, he actually did worse than me. That's pretty crazy. Covers the silver ring, turns the man into a werewolf, and vice versa. Meets the person who owns the same ring and learns about the existence of werewolves. Yeah. I don't know what just happened. New gener generation of devices. Okay, thank you. Okay. Closed society. Gathers werewolves from all over the world and starts a secret society. Madness. Malik Makai walks through the forest and turns wolves into people with the help of the ring. Soon in a TV news report, they talk about a group of naked people who came out of the woods. The newcomer doesn't under speak any human language, but the newcomers don't speak any human language. Makai decides to keep the ring in order to do justice under the cover of night. Just a joke. Decides to keep the ring for himself to save money on a Halloween costume. Decides to throw away the ring because its power is beyond the control. Decides to sell the ring. He doesn't care how the... Uh... That's a cool one. I don't know if it's a good one, but it's a cool one. I might actually edit this book. time as I can spend on it. Follow drama, drama and werewolves will do. Clear attempts at creating a drop in uh, atmosphere. Anyone actually finish this? I do not agree with the bad things they're saying about the book and the writer. Thanks, man. That bad boy. Forty-two Earth was defeated by invaded by aliens. They quickly defeated the human army and established their power. Horned, a former military officer, becomes the leader of resistance. I don't like that one. Secret CIA agent sent on a business trip to Russia to investigate the dis. Twenty forty-two. I think that's the right one. Maybe not then. Okay. I think I'm in the lead on books though, so that's okay. One of the f fierce battles captures an alien ship. He plans to use it to destroy the alien base. Independence Day, huh? Gathers enough forces for a decisive offensive against the alien bases. Gets seriously wounded in battle, but manages to kill the leader of the aliens. And his men push an alien convoy. They eliminate the convoy and seize valuable technologies. Manages to destroy the alien base and gives Earth back to humans. Yeah, let's do that one. Ooh, 
They're teaming up against two. They team up against me. I don't care, you can team up against me if you want. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Plot, plot turns out to be more important than the dialogues. Okay, worth reading. Okay. But most of those were views before, so I'm not gonna read them again. Wow, that's fire. Mechanical noise of the woman. <laughs> okay. Noise. I like it. Okay. What is this? Okay, chaotic ending. Decides to stay at the school and it's not that bad after all. A new friend decides to not give away the bully. He gets a beating but finds a friend. Concession. Gives away the bully. Vorgan is sent to a regular school but other children find out what he did. Nobody wants to be friends with him. Marmalade. Gives away an innocent boy. Is sent to a regular school and he starts... Life starts getting better. Let's do that one. That sounds chaotic. Yeah. That's what the people wanted. I believe. liked it. Good. And we made a lot of money, and that's what matters. I'm literally a genius. Okay. Fiery Guardian, a hermit. Oh, okay. What is this? The Lord of Water. Fiery, the Lord of Water, goes on a journey through the land of the orcs in order to taste the famous orc meal and creeps off. Perfect. Why not? Oh, thank you. Your orcs are always so deep and inspiring. Can't wait to read about new adventures in your book. Thank you. I try my best. The orcs mistake the protagonist for a giant grasshopper and attack him. Fiery successfully repels the attacks with a water cannon. Orc poet beats an orc named Fool. Fool asks the protagonist to help him rediscover inspiration. Fiery uses water to fly. He hurries to bring his adventure to an end, avoiding annoying orcs. I like that one. Uh, Fiery arrives at the inn and orders veal and cream sauce. It turns out to be the most delicious food in his life. I mean, this is a regular ending, so I'll take that one. That's what we're looking for. Not regular enough, I don't guess. Okay. Publish it. I think it would have done really good if I got rid of the errors, but... I'm trying to rush out books, so it is what it is. Bloodline, an idiot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, boom. 
know, my quest is not to write good books. Where everyone has a magical ability, young Vanter discovers that he does not possess... Okay, sure. Okay, don't care. Fuck you. <laughs> I guess. Meets a great sage named Nalarium, who reveals to him the reason for his lack of power and offers a difficult way to solve the problem. Sure. Plain. Finding inner balance. Realizes that his limitations worth. Realizes that he will have to perform it. Oh, there you go. That seems like it fits the story they were giving me anyways. I'll fix the issues in this one because obviously I don't have time to do anything else, so... I was at school yesterday. Oh, wait. I didn't get to read what he told me! Darn it. I won. I believe. Uh, you have no idea how happy I was at school yesterday and everyone told me and I told them about with a smile. Thank you for your amazing books with love, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, I can do that one easy. I did. I bought a new typewriter. Wait a second. Unclear plot. Wait, is that the same person that told me they liked? Okay, whatever. I thought you just told me you liked it. Okay. Thank you, Noel. Alright, so we're trying to write the best books this time? I can do that. Get on that one. Oh, wait, that's a bad idea. Whoops. Kenzo Beltran, a sexaholic detective, is hired to investigate the theft of jewelry from the mansion of a wealthy businessman, Anarchy. In Anarchy stricken Russia, Kenzo Beltran, a private detective, agrees to investigate the mysterious murder of a gangster leader. A captain lives the humble life of a merchant when a mysterious ship with black flag appears in the harbor. Kenzo gets a th uh -oh. I think that sounds interesting, so. Finds out that the murder was committed by one of the victim's associates. The criminal was arrested and sentenced to death. Comes to the conclusion that the murder was committed by a professional investigate, begins to investigate and finds out that the victim was involved in drug trafficking. Solves the murder but becomes the killer's next target. Let's do this one. Drugs. Drugs are bad, okay? Solves the murder, the killer turns out to be a member of the rival gang. Kenzo gives the information to his client and receives a reward shootout. Solves the murder but dies. Uh, takes over the gangs, becoming the sole ruler of Russia. All of a sudden, pirates take over the country. Uh, I don't think I can edit it. But, they can.
I was about to say, this better have not, not a single error, editor, I mean, error by the time you get done with how much money I gave you. Expected twists, expected more originality, the author clearly messed up his priorities, that's fine. There's plot, there's style, blah blah blah, wonderful book, I read it in one breath, this is a work of art. They could have done better, but alright. Yeah, it feels like when you're trying to win. I mean, I had a lot more fun with the first playthrough when I was trying to play it, like, I don't know, like I was trying to actually make good stories. But I feel like it's not very, like, conducive to, like, what the game actually wants you to do to succeed. So, I feel like the game a little bit focuses too much on the gameplay mechanic and not too much on the creative aspect, but I still enjoy it a lot. I think, like, reading some of the stories is really interesting, even though a lot of them are just copy pasta. I still think they're good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it's, uh. I, I think it's a good game. I think it's worth the price by sh for sure, but. I definitely wish. Well, it's probably still gonna be worked on and everything, but it could definitely grow into either making it more in depth on, like, trying to figure out how to win. Because it's really easy to figure out how to win, obviously. Well, you either make it harder to figure out how to... I think that's the best thing you can do is actually make it harder and give the creator more choices to have ways to succeed, but maybe they're a little bit more in-depth. But where it is right now, it's pretty good, I think. I don't know. I don't want to mess with those. I feel like I do better when I don't mess with them half the time. Blooming House, a young writer agrees to move into a mansion to write a book about the dark history of the house, 1000 AD, in ancient China, a brand new young warrior agrees to help the emperor fight dragons. A 19-year-old drug addict sees monsters everywhere to get rid of the visions, he decides to increase the dose. That's interesting. Probably should have done the drug one then. Altar in the basement. Alan finds an old altar with a demon depicted on it. Uh, the demon comes to life and attacks the rider. Confrontation discovers that the mansion is haunted. He comes to face to face and finds himself in mortal danger. Finds the previous owner's diary in which he talks about the curse hanging over the house. The problem is that the curse can't be broken. I'll pick that one. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some tragic ending here. The mansion becomes a maze, and Alan is doomed to wander in it forever. Take over. The evil living inside the house transforms into a physical threat. It breaks free and swallows the city. Challenges you to a duel. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna lose, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 
uh, it didn't go as well as I would have liked, but I think I'll still win, probably. Unless he really kills it with this book. Teaming up against me? Why do y'all keep teaming up against me, bro? Is it because I'm so good? Yeah. Ah, generation three. Nice. I'm gonna save for the next generation, though, I think. Flame works as a blacksmith. One day the village is brighter. A young. We'll go with Well, I guess. I haven't done this one, so maybe it'll be interesting. I've read it a couple times, but I haven't done it. Reflection looks in the well and sees a reflection of a beautiful woman. She smiles at him and waves. Miracle goes down into the well and finds a magic spring inside. The water from the spring has miraculous properties. Bends down to get some water, but suddenly hears a voice. Turns around and sees a girl. She is pale and emaciated. Her eyes are burning red. That one. That sounds so interesting, actually. <laughs> uh, the mo monster drinks water from the well and becomes a monster. He attacks the village and begins to destroy the houses. The villagers flee, leaving Vanter alone to destroy the village. He does not drink water from the well. The girl tells him the well is cursed, helps the girl to break the curse. And they oh, that's nice. I like that one. Might not be the best thing, but I like it. Uh, one? I uh, figured. Arthur clearly messed up his priority. Did I? With A.7? Okay. Good start for Grand Saga. But there's style, but it lacks soul. I was going to rate it as mediocre, but the ending saved the day. This is a work of art, but I will find something to complain about. Okay. Yeah, beat that one, guys. Bilbo Baggins. Fight the that could be a good one, I guess. Let's do that one. We're gonna fight dragons. Orm finds a dragon cave and sees an enormous dragon. Beats the leader of the dragons, but it turns out there's a whole tribe of dragons trying to scheme to destroy the human race. Uh, decides not to do anything. Dragons are huge and scary. Huge dragon. Fight me, big dragon. Bring it. More dragons. After overcoming the dragon's leader, has to face other dragons. The fate of humanity remains unknown. Learns that the dragons are actually aliens who have come to Earth to save the aliens. Makes the alliance with the dragons. Humans and dragons divide the lands between them, agreeing to never attack each other. Battle is killed fighting the dragons. His destruction saves humanity from. Oh, killed fighting the dragons. His death saves humanity from destruction. Beats the dragon and saves China. He becomes a natural hero and receives the hand of the Emperor's daughter as a reward. That seems like the best option. Even though it probably didn't get the best. Seems like it's the best option. Whatever. Let's 
shake hands with the author, messed up his priorities, exciting plot with minor flaws. A full book I read in one breath, unexpectedly interesting and engaging. I read this book to my grandmother in hospital. We both burst into tears yet again. You guys cried too much. <laughs> Enchanted by every chapter. Keep it up. Thank you. You know how to make the reader fill every page. Thank you. Actually, back. I don't know, my name's stupid, but it is what it is. <laughs> is a successful book ever. Okay, Escape from the Palace. Severn is a young hare. I've done that one before. One day Escape from the Palace. City of Love. I've done that one before. That one's interesting. <laughs> Black Sheep is a guy with a disfigured face. Sure, let's do that one. The love was keep away from him. Oh, that one actually got... I don't know how you like that one, I guess. We're gonna buy these real quick. I feel like these are a little bit randomized. I don't think I got some of these last time, so that's kind of cool to keep some of the playthroughs original. That's dope. I want to buy the most expensive typewriter in the game by the end, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to pump out enough books to do that. Even though I do get paid pretty good for my books. this, I guess. Almost got enough. Acceptance. Elsa, a girl from the village, starts bringing food to the protagonist. Soon, Severn and Elsa begin to talk. Elsa doesn't seem to be disgusted by Severn. Realizes that he doesn't give a darn about what people think about him or his appearance. Uh, starts writing short stories and fables. He improves his skills every day. Let's go with acceptance. I think that's a nice one. Deception. One day Elsa... Oh no. Elsa invites the protagonist for a walk. Soon they find themselves surrounded by a group of villagers. Haha, ha, what a freak. Ha ha ha, Elsa, you're right. He runs home and cries like a baby. He realizes that Elsa... That is the worst ending and I will never pick that one. One day Elsa kisses the protagonist. I refuse to pick that one. To kiss the protagonist. This is how their life, long and happy family begins. The community is slowly warming up to Severn. He is finally accepted. Convinced that people will never accept him, Severn moves away. Act of cruelty with hatred. Oh, no, I'll take this one. Good for you, Severn. Happy endings. Oh, I might get a really good rating on this book. As long as I get the errors out of the way. Yeah, this book might do really well. Uh, don't want to edit one air. I might not get the book out now. Enough time to get the money. Oh yeah, I did. Perfect. Oh, I thought it would do better than that. One of the best reading experiences a well-crafted world with vibrant characters. The author clearly messed up his priorities. I don't think I did, but okay. Worth your time, I strongly recommend it. Wonderful book. I read it in one breath. I really like the book. Yay. Book is a rare gem. 
you want to read it again and again. It left its marks on me, and I just can't resist the urge to reread it. Thank you for the the literary diamond. Thank you for the review. How your books are the most my best stress relief. You're the best. Thank you. Oh yeah, I kicked y'all's butts. Jorge Sanders. Please don't be like write the worst book. I hate that one. I think that's what it is though. I hate that one though. Uh, so far. Thirst for liberation on this. Captured by cruel pirates and taken to an island. Oh hell, I picked a good plot. God darn it. Whoops. Built to the captain. The captain asks him to be his personal guard. Meets up with another prisoner, a former pirate who changed their life. They're planning to escape. Learns when the pirate loses. He plans to steal their treasure. Comes up with a clever escape plan and tries to carry it out. We're picking this one. Oh my god, it's a good one again. You gotta be kidding me. Kill while trying to escape, but his death helps the other prisoners escape and overtake escapes, but is captured after being betrayed by another captain. The traitor becomes a pirate while Zane dies. This one. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. That should be terrible. There we go. Beat that. <laughs> Good luck with that, my friends. It's still salt, though. All I have left is sadness and a question to anyone. I'm sorry, bro. I mean, I had to, bro. It's the goal. It's the goal. It still sold a ton of books. Okay, I think you only need one bad book. That's how I understood it. I could be wrong, so I'm gonna start writing good books. If I lose, I'll just be super sad, I guess. Wait, what was I doing? Uh... New York is in door, an accountant gets an assignment from a royalty businessman who suspects that his wife is cheating on him with a vampire. Is a vampire hunter. He agrees to solve. Let's do my vampire. I think that's interesting. See where it goes. Isandor infiltrates the vampire club and discovers that the businessman wife is a vampire. She tries to kill him, but Isandor runs away. Finds evidence that the businessman's wife is indeed a dating vampire. The vampire attacks the detective. Finds the lover of his client's wife. Neither of them are a vampire. Let's do this one. Becomes a vampire and joins the club. Uh, 
uh, falls in love with the businessman wife and kidnaps her. She turns him into a vampire and reveals to him the secret of vampire life. Tells his client the whole truth. The businessman does not believe it and sends the vampire away. Oh, they didn't like that ending. Well, too bad. <laughs> too bad. I got the wrong uh, thing on, probably. No, I got the right thing on, I guess. Yeah, I got the right one on. I just had a lot of issues for some reason. That's fine. They did not like that. Okay, whatever. Sure, sci-fi in the fight against evil. Changed. Bad fight, fight against evil. A student discovers a portal to the parallel world in the woods. He enters the portal, parallel world where he meets an F girl and falls in love with her. That's not very sci fi. An alternate past where alter Nazis won. Scientist Leonidas McDonald constructs a time machine. Fire of the future. A space pirate is searching unexplored galaxies for a legendary treasure. He journey his journey takes an unexpected turn when he discovers an ancient alien civilization deep in space. Let's do one at a time. That sounds good. Fight the Nazis. Uh, is planning to go back in time to intervene with the course of World War II. Just due to his no. uh, kidnaps Nazi leaders from the past to replace their older versions in the future. What? Sure, let's try that. Manual upgrade. That sounds interesting. Oh, they didn't like that. Oh well. Accidentally helps unite Germany in 6085. No. Shares new technologies with the USSR as a result. Socialism wins over Nazism. The time machine breaks down and Leonidas remains trapped. Stops Nazism and returns to the future, but it turns out that he doesn't exist in the new reality. That's interesting. Sends the Nazis into the future so that they lose the war in the past, the universe collapses. Ah, oh, screw it. Why not? That's interesting. couldn't have chosen the author clearly messed up his priorities okay. nice this book did good made my made me look at the world with a different pair of eyes better than i expected but i had low expectations i was going to rate it as mediocre but the ending saved the day nice thanks for the pleasure of every page thank you gunner magic in every line father <laughs> who are you <laughs> uh, okay thanks case whoever you are <laughs> Brando.
35-year-old or 34-year-old diplomat works for an international political organization. His main focus is the conflict between his native country and a neighboring state. Bright shadow of the past. A 32-year-old political consultant lives in a turbulent world of political intrigue and racial bias. He seeks to change the system from within, but his past and thirst for revenge prevent him from moving forward. Uh, state of the state is the minister of finance in the state of Evermore, which has been hit with a. I'm gonna do the bright shadow of the past. That sounds interesting. Or political games. Both of those sound interesting. I'm gonna do the, the bright shadow of the past. Yeah, and hundred. It's gonna be a good book. Return of the old enemy faces a political opponent from his past. Who now holds a higher position and seeks to destroy his career, race scandal, the politic politician's racist comments cause a public outcry. Lane develops a strategy to help the politician survive the scandal, only to discover that the existing system has deep roots in racism. You think? The country is plunging into a political crisis. Lane gets a chance to lead a team to develop a strategy to overcome the crisis, but face the corruption lies. Personal revenge. Lane past returns when he learns that the man responsible for his father's death holds a key position in a political elite. Becomes a key figure in the power struggle between various political factions. These factions seek to use him to their advantage. The return of the old enemy. I think that's interesting. Oh, they don't think it's interesting. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I can only be the winner. Well, that's the only choice I get, so. Oh, they like that. I mean, okay, good. I lose all my friends, but I win. Still have the worst book, right? Yeah. That's a hard one to beat for worst. I actually have a drama book coming out right now. What a queen could dink. Oh, they did not like that. Uh, clear at attempts at creating a dramatic atmosphere. The topic of politics is very relevant to us today. He's trying to be clever. The plot is too complicated for the target audience. Really? Old people? Uh, I guess they don't like it. Anyone actually finish this? I do not agree. Politics enough, please. We've already figured it out. Darn politics. Don't buy a political book then, you piece of you turd. What? The hell's wrong with you guys? The heck? Oh, whatever. enough money for that one printer at the very end still that's my goal Thanks, man. Disaster code. In the 1952 London, a 32-year-old Jensen works as a codebreaker for MI6. He discovers a digital transmission that predicts a global catastrophe. The young scientist living in medieval Bohemia is a part of a group of researchers. I don't like that one. Cyber Galena. In the near future, scientist Jensen creates a robot with... Uh, let's do disaster code. Most grounded one, I guess. Deciphers the transmission code, discovers that the USSR military knows about the impending disaster and plans to use it to increase their influence. At the funeral of an important politician, notices a mysterious stranger and learns that he has access to mysterious documents. Accidentally gains access to negotiation discussing a secret alliance between the USSR and Great Britain. Let's see this one, secret alliance. I think that fits pretty good with the setting. Uh, the USSR and Great Britain enter into a secret alliance. Jensen becomes a double agent, spreading disinformation. Oh, I like that one. 
Protector of Peace transmits information about the conspiracy to MI6 and operations conducted to neutralize the conspiracy conspirators. The head of MI6 turns out to be the key conspirator as a result of well-prepared operation involving third-party agents. That sounds awesome. Falls victim to a political conspiracy. He is accused of leaking information. His career is over. He and his family. I like Protector of Peace. Let's start that one. Oh, they don't like it. I like it, so. Whatever. Oh, we're halfway there. We might be able to get it during the next run. Very brilliant on every page. I oh, couldn't have chosen, but magnificent world building. Looking forward to a sequel. Wonderful book. Uh, I read this book. Oh, that's one of the best ratings I've gotten. It's nine point four, I think. Uh, or Robbers of the Fortress is tasked with neutralizing robbers that terrorize border towns in the vicinity of the Fortress of High Rock. Witches are waging war against the Inquisition that seeks to destroy them. Misty Wind is one of the few witchers with magical abilities. I've done time before. Let's do witchers. Or witches. Epicenter finds himself in the epicenter of events. He uses his powers to help the witches win. Misty is found wounded, is wounded fighting the Inquisition. Wildfire ends up at the stake. He does not resist, knowing that his chances of salvation are small. The last moment. Oh, that's cool. Quizzer and his associates. Oh, I was supposed to say witches, not witchers. I thought I was saying I was a witcher fighting the witches, but not. Misty defeats the Inquisitor in a duel. Oh, I can do that one. As to keep his powers a secret to avoid being pursued by the Inquisition, he decides not to help the witches. Do this. Defeat that Inquisitor. That's a good one. Never hear that happen because I don't think it ever did, but. Uh, what is this? Open ending. Misty dies, but his sacrifice inspires other men to join the fight with their help. The witches celebrate victory over the Inquisition. Turns out to be an Inquisitor who was trying to find the witches' lair. He reveals this information to the Inquisitors together. They can catch the witches. Inquisition wins. It's victorious. Misty and the other witches go. No one dares to cross the path of God. Uh, Misty and the witches defeat the Inquisition, but the world becomes a dangerous place for people. New tensions rise. That's open ended. Becomes the new leader of the witches and helps them build a world of tension. That's the one they want. Be my last book for this semester, anyway. So hopefully, it turns out. Oh wait. Book is like magic that unfolds in every line. I immerse myself into your world, feeling how magic is becoming part of my reality. Thank you for this wonderful experience. Frick, that's cool. Yeah, thanks. Hopefully, I have enough time to release it. It's gonna be close. Yeah, I do. Oh, nice. Oh, we killed it. 
uh, excellent dramaturgy. You suck, Epic Echoes. It's like some living someone else's life. Magnificent. Author couldn't have chosen a better theme and genre. I really like the book. Thanks. Better than I expected, but I had low expectations. Author deserves all the rewards in the world. You two killed my great rating that I got for fighting. I got enough money. I win! Yet again. <laughs> I'm coming, Wally. Oh, I just, did I just dethrone Wally? Oh, he's still there. Okay, Wally. Get it. Prepare to lose. Wally Mad Dog Shakespeare. Where with. Oh, yeah. I can do that. I think I can do that, anyways. With my handy dandy Omega typewriter. to get screwed. <laughs> Shakespeare. Let's start with an easy one. Crime on crime. Blade. Raymond Chandler, creator of private... Oh. So rank so well on writing. 32 year old private detective lives in a quiet suburb after the unexpected death of his father. He discovers that his father. Uh, I might do that one. Capitalism is a private detective in a world where the Soviet Union won the Cold War and the United States became a communist country. He is hired to investigate the murder of a mate. That sounds official name, Michael. In the gloomy Octavia prison, Warden Seth Jacobson discovers a corpse. Let's do capitalism. That seems interesting. Uh, Seth discovers that Michael has been murdered by a group of corrupt officials. He confronts them, but they try to silence him. Crime discovers that Michael has been murdered by his son, who secretly dreams of reviving capitalism. Discovers that Michael's wife killed him. Let's do this one. Crime. Crime on crime on crime. Crime, 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 crime. <laughs> Catches the killer and gets his reward. He uses the money to open a detective agency and continues to fight crime. The killer escapes. Alliance up to resist cap communism uh court is charged with michael's murder he comes to be innocent let's do this one all right it's so cliche but oh they like it so whatever i don't think i can edit it but i know who can how many errors do we have oh i only have 12 so i could do somebody cheap for that I have the best story overall, actually. Nice. Surprisingly deep, thoughtful, and detective. Literary talent. The author clearly messed up his part. Oh, okay. Better than I expected, but I had low expectations. There's plots. Okay. That's a pretty good start. Uh, fantasy. Let's do a hero's journey again, and then let's do kids. Kids love it. I wish I could give you tips, but all I can say is thank you for the review. My mate can kiss you. I have read all your works. I truly admire your talent. Do you have a favorite book that influenced you? Thanks for your review. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Actually, I can buy this stuff. Why not? Oh, it only lasts for so long, and I can only- wait, can I have multiples? Oh, 
Oh, that's a good one. Wally's at the bottom, boy. The invasion of Polis. Trevian is a young secret service officer living in the city of Polis. He learns about the impending invasion of magicians, darkness over the city. A 25-year-old wizard lives in the city of Corvus. The city plunges into darkness. Sinister creatures have taken over the city, deprived its residents of magic. In a beautiful green village, there lives some <laughs> small creatures called hobbits. One day, a kind elder of the village turns evil. He introduces a cute. No, we're not doing that. This one's fun. One. Uh, fairy. In his sleep, Trevin sees a wise fairy who promises to give him his magic back, but the price is high. Power is restored. The protagonist regains his magic abilities in an uneasy battle with the Lord of Darkness before the eyes of the frightened inhabitants of Corvus. Corvus, hidden fears, realizes that the sinister creatures. He overcomes his fear, saving both the city and himself. Oh yeah, you want to bet on that? I guess you do. Uh, ordinary life decides to give magic, loss of faith, defeats the Lord of Darkness, but people in Corvus are not happy, they like the censure. Defeats the Lord of Darkness, becoming the hero of the city, that's the right answer. Honestly. Yeah, let's fight. I got you. Henry Mongoose attack Wilson. Let's get him to do it just because I have the money. Why not? Get him, Mongoose attack. Dang, it ain't even close. He just finished his first book, too. Murder. <laughs> this is murder. Magnificent. The author couldn't have... Almost Tolkien. I feel like my ratings should be way higher for what they're saying. My phone. This book gave me my new phone. Okay, thanks. God, this goes so fast now. I have to no time to do anything. Pharaoh, I guess, sure. The only one I could choose. Oh, uh, I've done the scares before. They did not like that. Let's talk to them, Pharaoh. Why not? Oh my god, I can't even click anything. Giant crab. Rest. The Pharaoh turned out to be very kind and friendly. He just, That is not a good horror thing. Pharaoh's spirit escapes, causing an earthquake that destroys Eden is buried under the rubble. That's kind of... It is what it is. It's the only horror one there. Thank you. 
I ain't got nothing else to buy, really, so I might as well. Waste my money. Why not? I try to buy all the typewriters, too. Just maybe there's an achievement. I don't want to switch typewriters. I just want to buy them. Plot? Oh, they did not like that one. Well, I mean, I can't blame them. I didn't think it was that good either, to be honest. <laughs> so, fair. Fair. Uh, let's see. Drama. We'll go somewhere. That could be a good one, maybe. Hello, Cotswold. What a name. Actually, dialogues isn't very important in a post-apocalyptic world, I don't think. Not always. Sometimes. family has lived, been living in a shelter for 15 years as a result of nuclear war. Outside the shelter, there's a wasteland. The youngest member of the family is a teenager named Raylan. Soldier, a former soldier and nuclear war survivor, is wandering the deserted streets of the city. He's very hungry and tired. Suddenly, he sees a supermarket. A former military man leads a small group of they live in a camp on the outskirts of the city. This one. Oh, yeah, I like that one. No. <laughs> one day... Raylan decides to leave the shelter. He makes his way through a maze of underground tunnels and comes out. The journey is over, decides to stay in with his family. One day, Raylan finds an old radio. He turns it on and hears the voice of a man who says there are survivors on the surface. Yeah, they like that one better. Raylan discovers the nuclear war was a fake. The whole world outside is the same as it always has been. Fails to find the other survivor. He dies hungry. Pick up the family. Nature started to recover, full of joy and hope. Raylan returns to the bunker to pick up the fam his family, only to discover that- Oh, that's a good one. New society. Becomes the leader of a group of survivors and helps them build a new society. New society, new orders. Becomes the leader of a group of survivors and helps them. The requests are so numerous and stupid that Raylan suffers a nervous breakdown. There are no more survivors. Comes out of the bunker and comes across a gang of mutants. They kill him. Goes out of the bunker only to witness the chaos and violence, and he doesn't know what to do or how to survive. Pick up the family is the best. I don't care what anybody says. That's the best ending that they offered me. By far. They should have liked that way more than that. I thought it was really good. The ending was good anyways. The ending was the best part of it, in my opinion. To express... Oh, look how much 
thing I have. I want to express gratitude for your book, which has become a true source of inspiration for me. Your words ignite the creative fire in my soul, and I can't wait for the moment when I can share my creativity with the world. Thank you for your review. How are you doing? Wonderful. I guess. It's nice being rich. <laughs> That's what rich feels like, huh? I don't have so much time to. I could probably actually stop writing and win, to be honest. But I bought everything. Okay. Is there an achievement for that, though? How many achievements have I gotten? Out of the not nearly all of them, I don't think. But come right winner by taking the yeah, I'm doing that. Uh, write a book with an overall rating of ten. Good luck with that. That's a hard one because everybody hates my book. I think if I kept writing the same type of book, like for instance, I'm gonna do that again. Actually, what did I just do? It was like drama, post-apocalyptic. I think what I did last time was like lower dialogue, I think. And Robert and Spence Originality Deep characters. Uh, that was an 80. I needed 100. Dark Depths of Faith. A 32-year-old paranormal researcher in post-apocalyptic America finds himself in a country where blood... That seems interesting. Let's take that one. That's eh, better than what I got for the kids one. Secret of the learns about that the cult called Purification is trying to recruit Robert to perform a dark ritual that promises to restore peace. The Secret of the Dungeon ends up in a dungeon where the cult keeps victims for their rituals. He tries to save them but stumbles upon demonic creatures guarding the dungeon. Rise of the Doomed unites the survivors and organizes the, an uprising against the cult. A bloody struggle between the cult and the survivor follows. Sail of Darkness finds an ancient artifact that can destroy both the cult and the demons, but using this one. That was a good one, apparently. Robert destroys the cult, and the survivors begin to rebuild a new society. He sacrifices himself in an attempt to destroy the cult, leaving the survivors leaderless in a ruined world. After destroying the leader of the site, becomes the new Lord of Darkness and begins a new era of horror, which turns out even bloodier than the previous one. Irretrievable losses. Disappears into the darkness, leaving the survivors to fight the cult. His fate remains unknown. Alone destroys the cult and the demons, but the world remains in ruins and the future is uncertain. Loses his mind and suffers from mental traumas. Uh, cannot defeat the cult and the world continues to exist. I like this one, actually, but I don't think that's the one. Let's try this one. Ah, uh, that's not the best ending. Same book. Uh, drama. Post apocalyptic again. Just kind of want to see how this works. Why not?
What if I go with the simpler plot? Let's see how that goes. Maybe this part just depends on what I put in the last part compared to this part. I bet you that's how it works, actually. I bet you the genre doesn't matter like I think it does. I bet you that's how it works. That was even worse. Guards the last solar station that generates energy. Let's take that one. That's a 60. That's even worse, too. Uh, on the day the station is attacked by a gang of looter magnus to fight it's them alone, but ends up on the verge of defeat. Giant rat starts coming at night. Magnus tries to survive it and save the station at the same time. One day, Magnus discovers one of the solar station solar panels is damaged and is about to explode. That's a good one. Fails to fix the station and shuts down. Manages to repair, place the damaged batteries in the station. Continues to operate. The survivors rescue, but the problem is there are no more. That's a good one. Oh, that's a bad one. Okay, whatever. Too well. Sorry. I guess. Drama. I'm gonna keep doing it until I get a good one. I know I can get a good one, I just haven't done it yet. Is a greedy man. He always wanted the best for himself, even in a post apocalyptic world. One day, while exploring abandoned, he discovers a warehouse of canned foods. Let's try that one. I got an 80. Dan decides to steal canned food and sell it on the black market. He enters the warehouse at the very same moment a gang of bandits enters the building. He's faced with a dilemma should he keep all the food for himself or should he share it with his companions? Let's do this one. Accidentally escapes from the bandits in the process. He accidentally sets off an explosion that destroys the building as where is the warehouse flees from the bandit He sells the food in the black market and becomes a rich man But his avarice doesn't go away as he becomes even more greedy and cruel wins and gets his Let's see this one wealth Yeah, but they like that ending apparently God, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Oh, so we don't do suspense. Attention to detail is what they want. I should have read that, I guess. Wow, they really didn't like that one either. But my cells continue. I'm really smart, they say. <laughs> so attention to detail is the one we want. Um...
Oh, that got 100, so that's good. Alright. Do we want camp? Leads a... We live in, let's do that one. Oh, perfect. Again. Alright, so camp. Whatever we did look other there. Uh, must find fuel or everyone will die one night. The camp is attacked by a gang of looters. I like this one. Let's do this one. Ah, it needed to be the other one. Finds a large, he returns. Uh, fiasco, finds the gasoline, but it explodes when he tries to take it to the camp. Evade the camp. Carlos is forced to team up with the bandits to save the remaining residents. Let's try that one. Oh, well, they didn't really care for that one either. You're suck compared to you. I like that. Thank you, Johan. Nice book. Thank you. I read your book overnight. Thank you. I'm real smart. Yep. Allegedly. This one should have done way better, hopefully. What the fuck? The author is over exploiting drama. Oh, they just don't like the fact that I didn't know they kept up with that. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let's. Change it up on him then. Let's do fantasy vampires. I'm trying to get like the perfect story though, and you're all making it hard because you're making me switch. Bros from misunderstanding. A lot. Vampire Hunter agrees to solve. I mean, that's my only choice, so I guess so, yeah. Uh, Resurrection discovers that the killer is not alone. There's a whole group of them. They plan to perform an ancient ritual. Discovers that the serial killer is a vampire and wants to restore the vampire race. Do this one. Okay, they like that. Uh, Val eliminates the threat and solves the world from vampires. However, at the last moment, he discovers that he's... Oh, that's interesting. Discovers that he's in a comic book. He points his crossbow towards him. <laughs> That's pretty good. He's killed in a fight with an ancient vampire. Uh, the ancient vampire defeats the hunter. I'm gonna do this one. Good. either okay so we don't want relationship we want super then if I okay so we'll do fantasy we'll do middle ages or sure. gothic master that's a good one Fortress, Garlic Man, an alien crashes into. Bro, why not? 
I don't know what they just gave me for that, but hopefully it went okay. Wait, they just reset me or something. Weird. Wait, the main conflict's probably important. The dialogue's probably not that important, I figure. What's going on? Backstage games. Lover and advisor. Uh, I got all screwed up somehow. I guess we'll do this one. Why does it keep doing this? We're broken. Something's broken. What the hell is going on? Game broke. Even let me go back anymore. It's super broke. Okay, maybe I. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Let me out of here. Oh my god. Are you serious, bro? Is it like actually broken? Feels like it's super broken. I'm losing money. What the fuck? I can't. I'm getting pissed, actually. I'm gonna try to restart the game. If I have to start all the way over, I'm gonna be so pissed. I might actually negatively review the game. We're being broken. We'll see. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I gotta do that whole level again, bro? And and even if I do, I'm if I break. Oh, I'm so annoyed. You gotta be kidding me, dude. So bad, like amazingly bad. I'm so actually freaking frustrated. I spent so long. Ugh, bro, I'm just gonna win. I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm just gonna win. Oh, I'm pissed. Actually, that's so annoying. That is really freaking annoying. I can't believe that crap, dude, for real. I'm so annoyed. Hmm. this time. That didn't do as well either. Man, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed to all hell. process progress has been frozen why oh somebody's interfering with my work interesting but why well this is fun oh, 
he mad at me. Why am I number 19? I should be number one. Medic. Okay, that's my only option, so. Covers this kind of flower that causes people to have fits of madness and murderous rage. Curse that turns people into monsters. Abducted by members of a sect worshipping an ancient demon, he finds himself in the temple where he has to take part in the ritual. It's very hero journey ish. No one believes, victim. Escapes from the temple. Oh well. Well, it was a good ending anyway, so. Well, at least the time went super fast since he freaking sabotaged me. They really like giving me sevens now. Is that a glitch? Like the hell? I think I've only gotten sevens. What is going on, dude? <laughs> like, whatever. As long as I get through it and I win, that's all that matters, I guess. But it's being real dumb. Okay. Uh. badly. I really liked that one, honestly. The staircase, I thought that was interesting. Let's well, so do this one. to leave the dragon alone because it turns out that the whole world is the dragon's dream. If the dragon dies, the world will perish. Refuses to hunt dragons. The ancient dragons share secret knowledge with... Okay, sure. I do want to buy these certificates, I guess. I do have the right typewriter on as well, don't I? 
I get it all sevens again, this is broken. I was just gonna say it is broken. Okay, thank gosh. What is with these scores being all the same though? It might actually be broken for real though. <laughs> like, for real. I don't think all the scores are supposed to be the same like that. Circle Alchemist. In the 13th century, a famous alchemist in, is murdered in small English town. Franco Matthews, a brave knight, agrees to help with the investigation. The alchemist was his friend, and Franco is eager to find the killer. A police officer is investigating. I want to do this one. Alchemist seems interesting. Uh, you want to challenge me to a bit, huh? One of the climaxes will be rated high by readers. Discovers that the alchemist was killed by his apprentice who was obsessed with envy. Tracks the killer to his hideout. The criminal injures the knight in a fight, but the Franco ends up getting the upper hand. The killer's face is hidden under a mask. Discovers that the killer is the alchemist's wife. I want to do this one. Franco finds out the killer was hired by a powerful lord, but he mask under the mask. Under the mask, the killer is wearing another mask, and then another. Franco goes crazy from removing... I want to do that one. The killer turns out to be the knight's friend. Franco can't bring himself to kill him. In the last scene, the killer runs away, lying in the mud. Franco throws... A that one. Probably the right... Oh. Maybe I should have done the mask within the mask within the mask. I'm digging different reviews again, but nothing good. I hope that's not what he just came out with, because I lost. Oh, I did win. Okay, sick. Last Prophet. Dang, he killed that, I guess. Serious machine falls into a hole in the basement. Uh, nightmares creates a device to travel through time. His friend warns him about the danger of pot. That could be going into the future. I'm gonna do that one. Nightmares. Uh, I don't like it that much, but okay. Uh, is too addicted to time jumping. Now his body's falling apart. His best friend is his last hope. That could be interesting. 
Morgan is losing his limbs too fast. Smith fails to get a cure in time. Difficult choice. In order to save his life, Morgan decides to go back to time before he got interested in time travel. Smith saves the protagonist and they return to the present. They decide to travel through time together. Gains consciousness in the hospital. He's just a, volu just a volunteer who had a new drug for insomnia tested on him. Everything that happened to him is just a side effect. While he's traveling in the future, Morgan finds a sports almanac. Keep going. That doesn't have anything to do with this. Let's do this one. I think this is actually the right answer for the story, though, so I'm gonna pick it, even though it might not do well. But I think that is the correct what the story, how it should end. Nice. I'm just gonna put it on three times speed. I already had like that long thing that I did the other time, so well, I might do one more story, I guess. Fantasy uh, journey fight against evil. No way back. I see Thunderbolt discovers an artifact, the artifact uh, Otherworld Experience, works in a small town, he finds an ancient artifact, according to the legend, can bring the dead back to life, a student discovers a portal to a parallel world. Oh no, don't do it again, bro, please don't do it again. Let me out! God darn you, creator, you turd! <laughs> God darn you! <clears> oh, <throat> that pisses me. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna stop making stories at a certain point because it just glitches. Apparently. Oh man, that makes me so actually frustrated. Mm. Wow, that pisses me off so bad. If I can't beat the game, if I try this again and I don't, I stop making stories, right? Let's say I get to 2 million points, I stop making stories. If I cannot beat the game, I will negatively review this. Even though I like the game, if it if it's broken, it's broken. There ain't much you can do. There's no ignoring that, honestly. That's so toxic. If I didn't like the game so much, I probably wouldn't be giving it a third try because this is actually time consuming. For something that I've already done multiple times. God bless. Shoot the reader.
I ate it now too. A shattered body explosion while this. Okay. pretty well got that glitch going on where you get the same numbers though Like the research chants are sometimes like super useless, actually. So, Chose so wrong I didn't even get to, to write a story. Let's see what this gets. This is gonna be a one or something. I don't know how that happened, but I guess the options I picked didn't fit the horror. The I don't know. Either way, we'll see how they rate that. But I'm sure it's gonna be bad. Oh well. There is no story. That's a zero, right? Oh, that's okay. That's just that's just dumb. <laughs> Game couldn't compute. I guess my options. Shadow trading shortly uh, now. Uh, murders in Athens. Evening in London. Let's do that one. Native Londoner works as a bartender on the Golden Horseshoe Pub on a rainy autumn evening. He is slowly wiping the glasses. The place is empty. Is it glitched again? No, I hope not. We'll see, I guess. 
Is it? Is it glitched again? It's looking like it is, actually. I hope not. I, I think it is, though. You gotta be kidding me. It is. Oh my god! I like this game. Alright, I'm gonna give it. <laughs> keep trying it. Something's gotta be triggering it. I don't know what it is, but it keeps. Note that I was winning every time this has happened. Every time. Suck my ass, <laughs> to be honest with you. Did Star Trek? Nice, real original guy. Serious substance found in its core. Check that one. What is this? Type of climax for critics. One of the climaxes will be rated by high by critics, one of the by high by readers. Covering the substance is an alien life form that spreads the. We're not saying that word. <laughs> Discovers that the substance is sentient, captures his mind, and forces him to kill his colleagues, corporation. Corporation sponsoring a mere mission is trying to get his hand on the substance. Discovery. I don't know if that counts as any of. Okay, it was the readers were supposed to like it. 
burns to earth while the substance continues to spread in the end. Let's be the hero. Yay. Close to a 10. Really close to a 10. Oh, I did get a 10. Well, at least we got that done. Yay! Write a book with an overall of 9 or more, or 10 or more. Killed it. Well, at least they can't take the achievement from me, even if the game glitches. Oh, well, that's something. I need way more of this to be able to win. Again, bro. I think it usually happens when I go to the fantasy genre, so I'm gonna stay away from that. Maybe that'll help, but I don't know. Oh, wait, can I not write while I'm taking a course? I didn't know that was a thing. Or am I just doing this wrong? I forgot how to play, apparently. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, I didn't know that, actually. That's cool, I guess. finds out about the investigation and offers the journalist a job. Blackmail decides to blackmail the corporation is trying to investigate the case and write an article. Oh, for sure. Safe Factory. During the investigation finds out that the plant is absolutely safe. The secret is saved. They kill me. No. Publishes an article. The plant closes. The protagonist is killed by... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Factory closes. Reads letter. There we go. That's a good one for me. Or my protagonist, either way. Same. Excuse me, by the way. I just don't like politics, I guess, but... Eh, at least my stuff went pretty well. Ah, oh, so I can't take another course if I, if I buy them all? Is that how that works? That's weird. Or maybe it's over here somewhere. I have the lead, but I don't think I have the lead enough to win. Because he's gonna write another book. Maybe if I write like one more really good book.
done that one into the future. I haven't done this one, so why not? Oh, they actually like that for some reason. Future world and his team just find themselves in a future world where technology and society are very different from what they know. They find it uh, as through the portal and find themselves in the modern world. He is shocked and frightened by new technology. Let's do that one. That's alternative history, pretty much. Uh, knowledge. Portillo and his team find a new way to the return of their time. They use their new knowledge. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Too addicted to sex androids. All right. Speed of the century. And his friends spend their days riding air skateboards and having fun. They decide to stay in the future forever. Stays in the future and falls in love with the little girl. He refuses to return home because of her. I'm gonna choose this one. And there's like a billion happy endings there, honestly. Oh, 10. All 10s. Oh, nice. Perfect. Hopefully that's the last one I have to read right, and then I win, maybe. I don't know. He had more than uh, a million that one run, honestly, and I'm kind of scared to write another book, though. Man, I had two 10s, and my score is nowhere near what it was on that... I don't know why. It doesn't really matter, I don't guess. I did write a lot more books, but I gotta write another book because he's gonna catch up. God darn, dude. I'll write the same thing. Hopefully it won't glitch. Please don't glitch. I will glint in here. What is this? Chaotic ending. One of the climaxes will lead to chaotic climaxes. One of the will be received worst. Fly like a leader. Upon learning that the USR, USSR no longer exists, Lenin goes crazy, breaks out of the laboratory, and starts attacking everyone with his built-in grenade launcher. That was interesting. Lenin discovers a great love for trains. He becomes a train driver in the Moscow Metro. <laughs> Programs Lenin to restore communism in Russia. Decides to revive not only Lenin, but also Stalin, Trotsky, Marx, and Mao Zedong. Well, that probably would not please the people. Actually, let's do that, because that is alternative history, hardcore. I don't think... Oh, this is the chaos one. Great victory. The world lies in ruins. The few survivors are hiding underground. The under United Coalition of States failed to stop cyborg... Lock themselves in a room to discuss the problems of capitalism. They end up sitting in the room for decades. That sounds interesting, but we'll do this one. Oh, another 10s. Okay. Just 10s for everything, I guess. It doesn't matter what I write now. Things just straight up glitched, I guess. So scared to write another book, bro. But I'm going to because I'm afraid that if I don't, he's going to win because he's so close to me, bro. Hello, my future lover.
capitalism. Okay. That's an interesting one. Looks like we might make it to the end. Can you imagine? And I actually got to write till the end too, kind of. <laughs> Runs away from the officials and uncovers the conspiracy. He becomes a national hero, but puts an end to the corruption in the country. The robotic stall and shakes his hand. That's an interesting one. to another world. I start to undress every time I hear your name. Jesus Christ, bro. These people are crazy. <laughs> it's because I have somebody's tens. Oh, this one's not a ten, but that's okay. I just need the freaking fame so he doesn't pass me, pretty much. You know what's funny is that book was worse than the other ones, but it got way more whatever it is, prestige or whatever it's called. I'm not writing another book. I'm not going to risk it glitching. I'm just going to hope he doesn't pass me. If he passes me, I'm going to be extremely pissed. To be honest. <laughs> Thank God. Go and winner by taking the first place in each level. Complete the game in which Wally did not... Wally? Who the hell's Wally? <sighs> in which Wally did not take first place. Finish the game as a winner. Yeah, I'm always a winner. That was so hard, dude. Just because the glitch. The glitch was what reason it was hard. It wasn't a hard game. Overall, though, I did enjoy the game, but that glitch needs to be fixed so badly. That is so... That is, like, game ruining. If you just kept getting that glitch over and over again, that was highly... Like, if I didn't like the game as much as I did, and I can definitely see where the game needs to be improved on a lot of things. Like I said, there's, um... It feels like at the moment that like it's not based on writing good stories it's more based about playing the system and i really wish like good stories like interesting stories led to better outcomes if like they kind of matched up but i understand that's like really hard to do at the same time i like it as it is but i could definitely see them growing this game if they really chose to it's up to them and i could see that being a lot of work but it's just it is what it is still fun for what it is though Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. Bye!